welcome once again to HeroQuest fans. Shout out to Carl Casey at White Bat Audio for the music. We are playing live on Twitch. We are not live on YouTube. And we've got some people here. Jacer's on his way. He's almost home. Well, safe travels, sir. So we've got Angus McBain. We've got Count Cogpox. And we've got Papa Bear. Newly joined the gaming community. So Count Cogpox is the wizard. And I trust that everybody's up to speed. If you're not, I can kind of inform you on what we've got. So the wizard is right here. He has fallen down on the ice, on the slippery ice. This is quest 10 of the Frozen Horror. And as far as magic goes, he has Swift Wind as his only spell at this point. He's used everything else. So Count Cogpox, you've you've got uh, all the potions and everything written down, and he does have. Oh a yeah. Lot. Oh yeah. Nice, perfect. Okay, and he is down to one body point, but I'll just kind of. Or no wait. I'm at four. Four. Someone else is at one. Yeah, I forgot to write down the. Yeah. Digitally, it's correct. Okay, he's back up to four. And the rogue. So Angus. Or Joe. Do you, do you prefer one or the other? <laughs> I'm probably just going to call you both. But... Or is he not back yet? Angus? Well, he's controlling the hey, road. Okay. What's that? Uh, yeah, I just... AFK still. Oh, okay, okay. No problem. Okay, and then Papa Bear as the Barbarian. Let me just run down what you've got. Okay, so as you can see on the screen there, he's down to four body points out of ten. Because he has the Amulet of the North, so ten is his maximum. He's down to three mind points, which is what he gets with the Amulet of the North artifact. And as far as gold, he's got fifty. Uh, for skill cards, he has a skill... You know about the skill cards, right? Or do I have to explain that? From, Ag from Axiom? Y you talking about from the Axiom deck? I'm not sure what you're talking about, the Axiom deck. Uh, like, Ax like Axiom furniture. No, I guess I don't know what you mean by the skills then. Oh, okay. So these were designed like in 2002. Ron Schertz and another guy who did, did the artwork. So these are skills, so I just give them out randomly when people buy them. So the Barbarian has one called Heroic Sacrifice. And so what that does is it's a single use. You can use it any time. You just tell me when. But he'll take the hit that was intended for another nearby hero uh, to protect them. But it's different than like the Knight ability because he, he actually takes the damage. So let me see if I've got it here. Serves. Da, da, da. Gee, I might have misplaced the card. I always hate it when that happens. Well, anyway, that's what it is. Ah, another skill card. <laughs> As we speak. Yeah, so the people in the chat are allowed to use their gold coins to buy stuff for us. But we, who are playing heroes, will not be able to buy stuff for ourselves automatically. So, okay, so we'll draw one. Luck. So, fortune smiles upon you. You may use this card to automatically cancel the effect of one combat card play played by the evil wizard player. That's me. Because I've got my own evil chaos cards. Alright, so he's giving it to the wizard. So, the wizard gets uh, luck. Thanks. Yep. Thank you. Thanks for that. Ribby! Fubar! Stupid storm, says Jacer. Fubar says you're getting rain, Jacer. Jealous. Central Iowa is bone dry. Yes, it is. <laughs> Lots of people going. What does the uh, luck skill do again? Sorry. Oh, that. So basically, if I play one of my cards, you get to just cancel it by playing. Okay. It. But it has to be a skill card you're playing, or it could be a yes. spell. Skill. Okay. It can work on any class or only if it's targeting me. You may 
Use this card to automatically cancel the effect of one combat card played by the Evil Wizard player. So I'm going to respect that. Okay. So if I play okay. anything, you can just nullify it. Nice. Axion is a new third-party card set, sort of like what you're doing. Oh, yeah. This is the one that Amalgamash did a video on, wasn't it? Like the dungeon cards, the furniture cards. They're yeah, really yeah. And if, and if you follow in the Discord, uh, Axion Giuseppe, whatever his name is, he, he's always, like, self-advertising for it. But uh, I, I got I got a bunch of them, and they're really good. Cool. Well, nice. we have that whole marketplace area. I don't mind if people do that. If it becomes obnoxious, I mean please let me know but <laughs> i just tell people hey you go in there as long as you're not scamming people go ahead advertise your product it's cool Especially do we have any mercenaries on the board sorry yes we do so okay. we've got one crossbowman here oh yeah that's what that is. okay yeah mercenary crossbowman he's just on the secret door tile now this this stairway is what leads back to quest nine because you got to go back to Quest 9 with the crystal key that you've acquired. The wizard has the crystal key. And that opens the central door, or the central the door to the central room. It's like on this side, where the Frozen Horror is hanging out. And that'll be the final battle. <laughs> Good luck, <laughs> homie. <laughs> yes. Okay, uh, so also the Barbarian has the following uh, gear. Welcome. Someone just joined in. Jay, sir. Hey, Jay, sir. Well, look at this. We've got four heroes. Amazing. And as luck would have it, no one's taken the knight yet. So, Jay, sir, uh, we got, got them all warmed up for you. So, okay, so uh, Papa Bear, just uh, filling you in here. So as far as weapons, you've got one weapon, or two weapons. You've got the Great Sword, which is four attack dice, including diagonal. And <laughs> alternately referred to as Molly the Murderess or Stabby McStab, the big sword. And since you are a champion, you actually roll two black dice and two white dice when you're attacking with that weapon. And we use Ribby's um, MentorBot to roll the dice. Are you familiar with MentorBot? Uh, I was checking it out in the the chat here. I, I, I think I've got it figured out. I, I see how to roll the, the 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 attack dice, and I see how to roll the the d6. So yeah. Uh, what's so how, how much? Because I'm a what was that thing you said? Because I'm a champion. How many? What, what dice do I roll? Yeah, so the the champion bonus is you have you can substitute two black dice when using a sword. So in this case, it's a four dice sword, it's two black, two white. Okay. You also have a flail, uh, which is I think it's two dice and diagonal, but I mean it's just two regular dice. You've got a shield, but it's stowed. You're not actually using it. But your armor, you've got a helmet. You've got the cold iron plate, which, as it so happens, I actually have printed that one out. So, uh, oh. so. gives you two extra defend dice. Okay, and ice gremlins can't steal. Yeah, but I only roll one d for move one sixty. Okay. Yeah, one d six. Yeah, but uh, you are also wearing the snowshoes of speed which I didn't grab that card, but it gives, it protects you from slippery ice and it gives you two extra squares of movement every turn. So 1d6 plus two is actually what you're moving. MentorBot doesn't track the plus two, so you just do your 1d6 and then you add it on. Right. And, and when there's no monsters on the board, I will allow you to move, move your full movement so he can move eight if there's no monsters. But you will have to roll when there's monsters. All right. Yep. And that's your gear. So basically, five defense, four attack. Potion wise, you've got a healing 1d6. Potion of. Uh, well, oh, yeah. One healing potion for 1d6. 
Yeah. Okay. You got taking notes while you're I'm yeah. taking notes while you're talking. <laughs> yeah, no problem. Uh, potion of speed, so that you, lets you roll an extra d6 for your movement for one movement. Magic resistance against all forms of magic, so any magical effect you can nullify it by using that potion. Remember, you don't you don't have to, it doesn't have to be your turn for you to use a potion. You can use it any time. That's how you can do the death saves in Hero Quest if you didn't didn't know. Mm. And if you know this stuff already, I apologize. I just know you're newer to the game, so I figured. No, no, it, it's appreciated. Thank you. Okay, cool. Uh, potion of strength. So that's the plus two for one attack. Okay. Uh, fire resistance. So that's just like magic resistance, but only for fire. Surprise. Antidote. I think that's the one where it nullifies two body points worth of poison damage. Potion of Battle Rage. That is the one... That once you use it, you get two attacks per turn as long as there are monsters in sight. But once there's no monsters in line of sight, it wears off. That's Battle Rage. Sounds like... I'm saving that for the Frozen Horror, then. And then you've got another magical resistance that only protects you from the damage caused by spells. Okay. Alright. And then you've also got a toolkit. And you've got the armband of ice, which protects you from most ice-related, um, like frozen rivers, ice vaults. Uh, ice damage magic spells. I think Ice Storm okay. reduces the damage by one point. That's the only caveat. Okay. And uh, I think that's we're good for the Barbarian. Any questions about anything on there? Yeah, sorry. Uh, the, but when we're rolling two black or two white like when when we say is there a statistical difference between the white dice or the black dice yes so the black dice have one extra skull and one less white shield so you're the more black dice have one extra skull yeah and one less shield so you're more likely to get a skull than not okay yep good to know thank you yep yep and uh, okay, so Angus with the rogue. Are you ready? I'm back. I'm ready. Did you nice. give him, Did you tell him what his skills were? The barbarian. Uh, the bar heroic sacrifice. All right. Yep. Is he still under the effect of rock skin? Uh, no. I think it's worn off. Okay. Yeah, Jay, sir, you're really quiet. By the Probably way. That. I might have Sorry. your volume. Uh, all right, I crossed off Rock again, and the only other thing is he's controlling the uh, crossbow captain. Okay, the barbarian is. Yeah. Okay. It was given to him to the barbarian. Papa Bear, do you mind yeah. controlling the crossbow? Jack? Uh, yeah, that's fine. Uh. Yeah, I'll tell you the crossbow statistics. I don't know squat about the mercenaries, just FYI, oh, so... That's okay. Yeah, the mercenary moves after the hero. Uh, we'll try to remind you. Um, so, the crossbowman, he can move up to six squares. So you don't roll for him, he just can move up to six squares. He has three attack, because he has a broadsword and a crossbow. So, if he's up close... At range, but the way I handle crossbows, uh, if if someone is right here, like the orange guy, you can't hit him. He'd have to be like one away to shoot him. I know some people play the crossbow and say it can hit diagonally. I don't. I say that okay. the eight squares around you, you can hit adjacently with your broadsword, and you can hit at a distance with the the uh, missile attack. 
And let's see, he has three, so three attack, and he has three defense, three defend dice, two body points, and just like monsters, I end up putting these under there to indicate he's wounded, if he's wounded. So two body points, and then two mind points. So the barbarian's right here on the ice, and okay. the crossbowman is way over here. Have they never clarified the crossbow rules, Avalon Hill? Yeah, they have. So what, what was their consensus? Their, their clarification the way they was that it can hit the diagonal squares. So they disagree with me. Wait, they just say only a little plus sign around you? It can't hit. But an X, it can. Is that what they say? Well, like di you're saying that one square diagonally, it hits, but one square directly no, no. next to you, it doesn't hit? Well, what they're saying is is this. Okay, let's let's pretend... Okay, he's right here. Or, yeah. So, what I'm saying is... Here's the squares that you can't hit. Represented by skulls. These are the... Well, I'm saying you can't hit these. Right. You can hit... You could hit everybody else in the room. Anybody because else? in the manual, it just says adjacent. Right. right. But... What they're saying, what Avalon Hill is saying, literally, these are orthogonally adjacent. So they're not actually adjacent, so you should be able to hit those because of what it doesn't say. Whereas I'm taking the approach that these eight squares around you can't be hit. Whoops. I'm just dropping everything. Those eight squares around you cannot be hit. But everything else in the room could be hit. And that's how it is. In Even the one diagonal square further than that, like two diagonal squares further. Yeah. Exactly. So I'm saying <laughs> like you could get hit a guy here. You could hit a guy here. You could hit a guy on the stairs. You could hit a guy here. You could hit the secret door. You could hit here. But now if you're using the broadsword, yes, you can, you can hit the guy there, 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 and there. Because I'm thinking otherwise, who cares about the halberd error? Because the halberd error can only hit those eight squares. So to, so to clarify, you just, or Avalon Hill says you can't hit any of the eight squares around you, or you're saying that? I'm saying that. Avalon right, Hill okay. is, is... They making, say four. They're saying the crossbow is more powerful. Right. They're saying you can't hit the four direct adjacents, but you can hit the four diagonals. Yes. Okay. If I said it backwards before, I apologize. But yeah, there's. Yeah, no, sorry, I got confused. You can't hit north, south, yep. east, west, west. Or, yeah, you can't hit the four cardinal directions. Right. It's more than one square away. But they let right. you hit the diagonals. Okay. Whereas I treat it the opposite. I just say the eight squares surrounding you can't be hit with the crossbow, but anything further out can be hit. So if you're hitting the north, south, east, west, you're using the broadsword. Logically, your way makes sense. Yeah, their logically, way makes sense for movement yeah, perspective because yeah. you can't move diagonally. Logically, there's nothing stopping you from shooting someone at point blank range with a crossbow. Uh, but yeah, just the way the game was designed. Well, except I guess. that they have a better chance to block it by, or deflect it. Maybe just by touching or hitting the crossbow as it's firing. <laughs> Or just says, slamming your shield, or slamming your shield right in front of it and shattering the bolt, and thereby deflecting most of it right back at you. The as thing it's is, firing. I feel like the game gives you an arbitrary rule that kind of, you know, generally vaguely imitates something you've seen in fiction, and then you can right. justify it later with whatever you want, your imagination. Fubar says, "Papa Bear, I can make it easy on you and send wave after wave a monster at that crossbowman to get rid of him for you." <laughs> So the yes, simplify my life, please. <laughs> not reach full terminal velocity to damage close-up enemies. Uh, anyway, uh, <laughs> yeah, and it's so that's easy to cut the string. Yeah, but see, this is how, and you bring an extra string with you. So this is how Hero Quest goes. Like the, the crossbow has is endlessly debated. Like not right. just that point. <laughs> people, yeah, a lot of people online feel that it's too powerful, so they make it weaker in various ways. 
Whereas me, I try to keep it the same, but on that one point, I just don't budge. I mean, I've tried it the other way. I've tried playing it that way, and it, I just don't like the way it goes. But when someone else is in charge, like, they want to do it the official way, go for it. <laughs> if you had a short sword or a dagger like the elven archer did, so he had something different right next to him, I would say, yeah, okay. You know what I mean? Because then the hal halberdier still can hit all eight spaces at full strength. Yeah. Like, then it might make sense to have the crossroads. The crossroads would shoot the diagonal. Yeah. Because then he's still weak. That yeah. Was, Basically was that the remake but manual they clarified that in, or was it a no. further expansion nope. of the remake? Nope. It wasn't either one. It was just somebody asked it on Twitter, and then they just responded. Really? Okay. Yep. I mean, they could, I've never found it. This is debated endlessly. I know they could. And, they could well, see, <laughs> the thing is, at any time, just like they did with Rise of the Dread Moon, they could print another crossbow card and just like insert that text in it, like in yeah. a non-confusing way, and just put it out there if they wanted to. But I'd still be like, nah, I'm just gonna play this. Well, because it's such a it's such a BS thing that I know I'm gonna forget it the next time I play the game and have to rehash the whole argument again. Yeah. Well. I mean, you do it how you want to is, is the bottom line. Right. But, yeah. Because you could say, well, all right, why have a halberdier at all? Well, the point is, you buy all the crossbowmen, and when you're out of crossbowmen, then you're like, okay, well, I'll buy the halberdier, it's not as good. You know, you buy the crossbow first, and then when you're out of crossbows, then you buy the longsword. But you're never going to run out, so in that case, it's kind of just like, eh, whatever. Fubar says, in Avalon Hill's defense, though, stood in the back corner of a square and a monster is in its back corner, there's more room than if you were on the back line of your square and the monster is on the back line of its square. Yeah, I, I don't I don't get into it that much, but I just, I feel one way is arbitrary and my way is arbitrary, so just, it is what it is. And they both have a way you could explain it, I mean. Yeah. Yeah, you can use a creative argument. It also depends on the scale. If these little yeah. squares represent five feet versus whether these squares represent like three feet and that these corridors <laughs> are as narrow as the hallways in your house. Yeah, well, I I, I think it's, it's pretty loose. I mean, I, I've used that argument to defeat people that say that the crossbow should only be able to fire a certain number of squares. I'm just like, you know, Olympic archers can hit that distance, so I'm sure these guys are at least as good as those guys. So it just is. World record uh, tomahawk throwers <laughs> and all that stuff. But they should be able to recover it, right? Yeah, anyway. We won't get into all that. Uh, okay, so Angus with the rogue. Yes. Okay, so uh, and let me just adjust everybody's volume. Because we had an unfortunate incident in our last recording where some people were not being recorded, so it just, you know, we could all hear everybody, but they weren't actually recorded for the recording. So it was just silence, and then people laughing at nothing. <laughs> just like, oh. Okay, so Angus, I'm going to increase your volume a little bit here. All right. Go ahead and talk while you're doing it. Yep, yep, yep. Talking away. We good. Test, test. One, two, three, four. Test, yep. test. Sounds good. Okay, and Count Cogbox, uh, go ahead and say something. Testing the words coming out of my mouth. You gotta listen closely and round it about. Sounds good. Sounds perfect. All right, Jay, sir, can you say uh, say a few more things? Yeah, check, check. All Mike right, check. You're one, really two. quiet. And you're usually the loudest. Uh, one. You, you want me to switch to you want me to switch to speakerphone? Is that better than this Bluetooth? I don't know because usually I hear like a big echo of myself. Come oh, on. that's right, right. That's right. That's why I'm using the Bluetooth. Okay, so you're I right. just I just upped your volume. So I think okay. we're I think we're all good there. Okay, so Angus with the yeah, rogue. Uh, let me, I got uh. Let me see. Obviously, I haven't painted the knight or the rogue, so they're just red yeah i got 60 percent so the uh the I'll rogue is in so this hard. room he's got to cross a pit trap and then some slippery ice that the elf fell on and then there's a pit trap on the other side to get out so have fun and he's got uh, <laughs> he's got uh, one body point left 
So um, now, are you familiar? You're you're familiar with the rogue. I'm forgetting if you've controlled him yeah. before. Okay, with his abilities. Okay, so he's got 120 gold coins. And he's got a toolkit, which he doesn't need because he's got the bandolier. And as far as weapons, he has a dagger, a hammer, which is two dice, and throwable, which you lose it when thrown. He's got a long sword, so you got your three. A spear, which is two, diagonal, also throwable and losable. A halberd, which is three diagonal. Hang on. Well, how many was the spear? Two? Two. Yep. Yeah, diagonal and throwable? Yep. And then the halberd is three diagonal. Wow. Verg just... Uh... <laughs> chat one, chat two. Sibilance, sibilance. Yep. Oh, what the heck happened? It's all jazz, baby. Just let, feel it out. And let it flow. So Verg just redeemed a bunch of potions. So we're going to get those all in turn. Five of them. Thank you, Verg. What did you say the halberd was? Three. Three. Okay. okay. And you've got the long sword. Okay, yeah. And so you have the bandolier, which means you're never going to run out of daggers and you always have a toolkit. But that can be stolen, of course. For armor, you've got the buckler, which means if a monster attacks you and misses, you get a one die unblockable counterattack. Let that sink in. <laughs> and you've got bracers. All right. Okay. And you also have the rallying horn, which allows you to, if you blow the horn, now at the fourth blow, it may attract a wandering monster. But when you blow the horn, nearby heroes all get uh, a 1d6 bonus for movement for that round. And it's been used once this quest already. Yep. Thank you for the reminder there, Jacer. That's good. No problem. The only thing is, I had written down that the rogue has five defense. Oh, yeah! yeah. Buckler, cloak, bracer. He has a cloak also? Yes. That's what a, he... Uh, yes. He got the cloak before the bracer and after the buckler. Huh. I did not write that down. Okay. When, when did a, oh, when yeah, the rogue he, get You're that? right. He's at five defense. Okay. Yeah, what was that must have been a, an equipment draw then, right? I believe so. I believe it was one of the first ones. Okay. Yeah, because we don't get equipment. I should have wrote down the entire thing. I just wrote down yeah. cloak, but I did the same thing with the alchemist. I didn't write down alchemist cloak, so I don't remember what Thank exactly you, it was. Okay, so Elverg did a nice thing. So he, he not only bought five potions, he also subscribed. Thank you for that. And uh, he says, go finish the Frozen Horror. <laughs> so he's, he's cheering you guys on to victory. Okay, so let's, uh, let's get this show on the road. So we got five potions to distribute, and we're just going to ignore any poisons. So fire resistance. Potion of healing. Um, four, plus four. Poison, we're going to ignore that because it's a safe thing. Uh, icy Strength, well, that goes to the Barbarian. So you could do double damage. Okay, so Icy Strength. Healing, one red die. We're going to ignore the poison. We're going to ignore the poison. Uh, magical aptitude, so this could be used by the elf or the wizard. You can use two spells on your turn instead of just one. I want that. <laughs> okay. The saith the twitch, twitch ally. All right, so that goes to the wizard. So now he has three magical aptitudes, so he could do... Correct. Too bad I could unload her. A good chunk of my spells in one. 
Yeah. Um, Too bad you only got one left. But there's always the future. If you survive, and the unlikely chance that you survive, you will have them for the next. next so I have three total, correct? So yeah. I just wrote that I have two right now. Okay. Three. Yep. Oh, I forgot one thing for the barbarian. So Papa Bear, you also have a berserker brew. Oh. That's a single-use alchemist item, which basically is just like courage. You can use courage. Uh, that was used up. It was? Yes. Oh, shoot. Okay, well, <laughs> thanks. Uh, so you had it. No, no problem. Yeah, it, it was used really up. I must have really been tired at the end of the last, uh, last session. Uh, yeah, well, I was going to say that's what helped them finish out that last bit. Yeah. Well, I did give a potion of strength, I think, to the knight. I could. I think I have two on me. I think I give one to the knight. Uh, uh, who's that? The wizard. I think I gave you one. Wizard? Yeah, I have uh, one. Was hiding down. in the corners. Potion of strength for Jacer, the knight. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I, I gave one. So I only have two. I have two left on me at the moment. Now there were some great artifacts that you guys did have, like the ice queen spear. I'm just showing off the fact that I printed these out. This has been stolen, though, so it's out there somewhere. You haven't found the treasure room. Uh, who is the elf? Oh, yeah, we need an elf, don't we? Someone want to take on another hero? Until such time, if uh, any, that someone else joins. Uh, I'll do the elf since um, the barbarian has the mercenary. Okay, so Jacer is the elf and the knight. All right, and so the... But the does player... Rogue have... Do we have any potions left? Oh, sorry. Yeah, let me get to those. Okay, so the rogue has his three persistent skills, of course. He has 120 gold. And for his potions, he's got the potion of battle. That's the one that lets you reroll your attack. And you've got to accept the second results. Magic resistance for all spell effects. Fire resistance. And it actually has two of those. The all effects. Mm, I have it differently. So I have he has magic resistance against damage two. Magic resistance. Oh, then I got all one. Okay, then I got it mixed up. All right. Yeah, you got. One. He's got three of them. Damage times two. Yeah, okay. so you get that. So like one of them would like undo a tempest spell, but the other one would only work for like ball of flame or something like that. Get it? Sounds good. Okay, yeah. and so then the rogue has Potion of Restoration. Restoration, that's the small one that gives you one body point and one mind point back. Wolfsbane Potion, in case, you, in case you turn into a werewolf. Potion of Strength, that's the two for one attack. Hang on a second. What was after Wolfsbane? Uh, so it'll the cure, werewolf? Yeah, it'll cure the werewolf curse if it happens to you. And then you've got a potion of charm, which lets you hire up, think up to three mercenaries for 25 gold less each. So obviously that'll only work between quests. Okay, so I'm gonna write down for the barbarian. And the fire, and and they have a fire resist. The rogue. Yes. Okay. So potion of icy strength for the barbarian. Carl Casey going again. Okay, so now we've got to divide up uh, the other spoils. So give the rogue a plus the plus four healing. Okay. They already they already have a fire resist. Uh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, because his plus two healing was used up last time. Yeah, so all he has is the plus one healing and okay. that. No objection. That, that would right, Angus. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, so you so as the rogue, you've got a plus four healing. Three. Four healing, yep. okay. Yep. Thanks to Verg. And who gets the other fire resistance? Um, uh, who wants it? Anybody? The barbarians already got one. He already has a fire resist? Yeah. The elf does not have one. 
Alright. Give it to the. Yeah, good. Yeah, give, give it give it to the elf. That's fine. Yeah, that's fine. I got a I got an aptitude potion. So. Okay. Yeah, we're not gonna try to argue about the potions, but this is this is. I mean, we're we're. I'm being very generous with the allowance of extra potions, but even so, if you make it this far, you're gonna have a lot of potions potentially. I mean, some people yeah, use I them guess. at the instant you get them, but not all. Okay, and so then the last um, thing is who gets the one d six. Uh, the elf has some healing. Uh, the, we just gave the rogue healing. Let's see, the knight the has elf has four of a, the plus fours. So he's. I have one plus four healing potion on me, and one potion of warmth, and one elixir life. Oh yeah, the elixir that gives you one body point every. Oh yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Up to five, which yeah, is and, uh, hard to keep track of. So, <laughs> yeah, if you if you use it, we we're, we're gonna have to you're gonna guys have to keep me honest on that one. The barbarian oh. has only one, one d six. So then, give that one to the barbarian. Yeah. Okay. So what what's that one then? So uh, to heal yourself, heal. you roll one red die. So it could be six, could be one, or anything in between. Okay. All right. I wish they had a different name for the different heal potion types. Well, one of them is yeah. called Potion of Healing, and the other one is called Potion of Healing. Exactly. It's like a salve of healing, you know? Well, potion of healing. Yeah, I, healing. I call it the uh, Potion of Random Healing. Yeah. <laughs> you know, just because... So when you're writing them down, if, if you're not playing the game where you're holding the cards, it does make it more complex. But You uncork the bottle and it's only got a drop left. It's like, well, yeah. at least it'll keep me alive. <laughs> or it's, somebody watered it down. It's like, darn it. <laughs> the expired potion of healing. Yeah, it's like, well, <laughs> get you out of a jam, but I don't know, way on that. Yeah, uh, that, that was my theory on it. It's just an old one that's been sitting around, so it's either more potent because it had a lot of the water evaporated, or it's less potion, uh, potent because it's getting real old. Yep. Okay, all right. Well, I think we're ready. I think uh, everybody knows what we're doing now. Quick so, question. Uh, yeah. Is there any reason why I wouldn't want to walk around? Like, if I have my, as you said, my max body points is 10, and I'm at 4... And even if I rolled max on my 1d6 healing, is there any reason I wouldn't want to walk around with my body points maxed out at all times? Or It's totally up to you. Just player preference. Because you auto-consume one when you die, correct? Well, or you can. I guess you could refuse to <laughs> if you want to just get out of the right. game. <laughs> but yeah, I don't drink them because we might make it to the end. Yeah. I mean, you know, meta-wise and not need it. There's yeah. no reason to drink it ahead of time because right, right. Die. Some people, I see. some people psychologically are like, you know, Zargon never killed me, you know. So they always. Well, I, I think it should be like, you know, if you want to wait and hold out, you should have to like, you know, roll a green die or something and get a shield. Or some, something some, to, yeah. To react and and use it when you die I, because I don't. Otherwise, I don't the distinction. Yeah. Yeah. But, otherwise, we're all gonna just not drink them until we die. Until you die. Right. right. Well, that way, especially if you have one body point and then you get hit by like a polar war bear and it's like, oh, he hit you for eight. Okay, right. let me die and then use the potion Correct. instead of being from 10 and then going down to two. Yeah. yeah, it has two angles. Not only do you mitigate mega hits for someone who has low health, but you also save more potions. This is instructive, though. So when I'm at Gen Con, if somebody decides to put me in charge, I'm going to just spit out all the stuff at the start <laughs> because otherwise... <laughs> You're going to start like, well, you know, how we play it, and blah, 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 and it's like, listen, this is how it's going to be. But yeah, for those watching at home, um, all this stuff gets debated online all the time. Yeah. Not to start another rant, but I do no, like no, no, to no. discuss the intricacies of this. It's fun. It's fun, but yeah, it slows the game down if everybody's doing that all the time. So I don't, for my part, <laughs> I'm sorry. You can all right, Barbarian? No, Zargon's turn. Yeah, it's, it's my turn. 
Elver yes. says, just don't end up like Good Time Society stream, and the party is wondering if they should have brought cyanide potions. Dang. Ubar says, Kurgan, do they rest, heal up once they leave Quest 10 and go back to Quest 9? I'm glad you brought that up. The answer is no, they do not. Might make them decide if they should drink up or not since they're heading out the door. Right. So, 9 and 10 in the Frozen Horror are treated as one quest. So you do not automatically get your spells back. You do not automatically heal. So, all these extra potions are to your benefit to use. Oh, I didn't know that. That puts me in a crappy situation. I only one spell left. Uh, yeah, you're right. Exactly. Um, yeah, and that's just how it's been. I mean, sometimes you get wizards who are more conservative. Others are just like, you know, chucking out those spells like, you know, use them. Use them or lose them. So, good point of clarification there, Fubar. And welcome to everybody else in the chat here in HeroQuest fans. Oh, we got a nice big group tonight. Yeah, so all of you people in the chat, all you HeroQuest fans in the chat, if you're watching us live on Twitch, see where it says at the bottom, send a message. Right below that, you'll see the gold symbol. You can actually buy potions for the heroes and skill cards and other things whenever you want to. Um, and we'll incorporate that into the game as best we can. Same thing with your old pal Uncle Zargon if you want to buy monsters. Make things a little more interesting. You know, threat cards. Uh, you're, you're welcome to do that. Some people do, do both. Uh, hence the power of What's chaos. What's one I need, need to restore the spells? There's one potion card that will restore some spells, I think. Yeah. Well, if you're lucky enough to get, get that. that. Yeah. Or what stack is that in? <laughs> Yeah, well, it would be in the in the potions deck. Okay. Put that plea ah, Fubar. out to the. Hey, yeah. Good old Fubar <laughs> just got a monster for me. No, Fubar, why, why? Two monsters. Ah, ah, ah. Okay, so I'm just gonna have. You know, Fubar. Hey, Fubar, you take back what I said about your models. <laughs> <clears throat> They're lovely. They were great. <laughs> <laughs> seven nice okay all right as you are going oh man they're really coming out of the stairs <laughs> <laughs> oh uh actually no i gotta roll again All right, so out of the uh, ice tunnel, a chaos warrior and a zombie okay. spring out. All right. Excellent. Thank you, my loyal servant. Okay. <laughs> All right. Are those uh, are those holes uh, pits that we fall into, or are they just endless monster spawns? Well, these are ice tunnels. I'm just creatively like making them come out. I mean, I could have had these guys drop from the ceiling. I could have popped out of the bookcase. They're hiding under the table the whole time. You know, anything. They ran up the stairs. Yeah, they somehow. Oh yeah, yeah. Out of the way like I said, that's what he, that's what Fubar wrote. Yeah, that they were coming down the stairs. That's why I said, oh no. Because I thought, yeah, we were going oh, to have to fight them, but now, yeah, yeah, but now we that. have a chance to skirt them. Oh, okay. Or, or well, I want to honor. Fun. I want to honor his wishes here. Let me scroll back. Damn it! All right. <laughs> I gotta not talk so much. <laughs> Just imagine if the Twitch bots could buy potions. They went oh, out for dang. pizza. They came back. A couple bananas in pajamas coming down those stairs for Uncle D. Okay. All right. Yes. So that was just a mirage. The real ones popped out of the staircase. So that crossbowman. Yeah, because he was talking about targeting the crossbowman earlier. Okay, I got it right now. Yeah. All right. Uh, well, because of all that, I, I'm not going to draw my card. I'm just going to go ahead. And so he bought those for me. It's still my turn. I stalled long enough that I can do this. Okay, mm -hmm. so Chaos Warrior moves forward to attack. <laughs> I know, Fubar, but yeah. That's the thing. When you're buying something, you can always throw out that suggestion. I can always veto it if I want to. So, 
Whoops. So Chaos Warrior attacks. One skull. Uh, no die, no defense. So I guess I take one damage. Yep, that's a hit. All right, one body point. You just got here. I know. Okay, here comes the zombie. Zombie's a little, little weaker. Missed. Yeah, stumbled on his way down those icy stairs. Yep. <clears throat> okay, alright. That's going to be my turn, so... Uh, barbarian. Okay. Um, sorry, still trying to get my bearings here. Um, so, we're trying to find a key that we would then use to enter where the uh, frozen horror is. Actually, the wizard... We already are. have the key. We, we got okay. it. Yeah. We're just well, trying to get out of here. Is 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 he dead or is he just on his lying on his face? Um, <laughs> the wizard. Yes. Yeah. He, lying yeah. On his face. he slipped and fell on the on the ice, so he's he's been there for a week. He's uh, quite comfortable. Pondering. Yeah. All right. Um, and by the same token, uh, the elf also fell on the ice. But see, on the next turn, they'll be able to get up. See, the thing is, if you fall on the ice, you can't do anything. So you can be, it's like you're under sleep. You can be attacked uh, and no no defense. So it kind of sucks. <laughs> All right. Well, as the new guy, you know, maybe I shouldn't rock the boat here, but I'm going to give something a shot here. What is your, because I listened in on a few of your things. What, what is your house rule? Uncommon heroics, uh, is yes. it? The uncommon feat. Yes. You propose, okay. you propose something that is not allowed in the rules, but is maybe plausible in the context of the world and uh if i approve it i'll give you a 50 percent chance of its success but okay some, some of them when they fail will give you a negative consequence well the barbarian has some meaty quads i suspect that he would want to just kind of use one of them to just kind of push the magician one square over so he's out the door but you know maybe i but maybe i fall over in the process despite my snowshoes of speed. Well, the only thing about that, and that's fine, is that what you're trying to do is make it to that ice tunnel, which transports yeah. up to this ice tunnel. Okay. Which then leads to this secret door, which then will take you down the stairs. Yeah, okay. so dra drag him towards the tunnel, not push him out the door. Okay, all right. So Unless you're going to have right. some fun at his expense, of course. <laughs> Yeah, that would suck. It would waste a your action, and it would push me back a turn well, and make me roll two more ice you know, I, I, right. Looking back, I have been pretty lenient with that. A lot of times, I just kind of ignore it and let people still do their action. But, yeah. I mean, in this case, it's not going to matter that much unless he gets a really good roll. Okay. Well, all right. Let me let me tweak what I said then. Uh, he deadlifts. He absolutely deadlifts. And uh, I want to deadlift this magician off his feet. Okay. Can I do that? Go ahead, roll one right. combat die. But did uh, I get up next turn automatically, or do I have to roll for that? Uh, you get up automatically, I think. So, a skull is success. Oh, he <laughs> failed. Okay, so he tried, and uh, he just kind of, like, comedically, like, <laughs> dropped him again, and, like, he kind of, like, spun around, and it was really silly. I'm sorry, bro. No tried. tosses a wizard. You tried. That's just gross. Damn ice. <laughs> okay all right but you've still got and i was about to say oh you would waste your action but actually once you go through that tunnel it ends your turn is the other thing and that's true yeah basic rule okay all right well uh i guess then i will roll my 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 movements um four six so yeah just moving through the tunnel then Okay, you emerge on the other side of the tunnel. And uh, I do have I, I, two spaces left by my movement, or, or am I just done? Yeah, in this one you're just done. Okay. Yeah, like tunnels are used a lot in these games, but it the rules for them are always different, I feel like. Yeah, okay, all right. Uh, so now you've got your crossbowman. 
Uh, the crossbowman, he has a, he has a sword, doesn't he, Broadsword? Yes, he does. Okay. I will um, take a mighty thwack at that zombie then. Alright. I'll roll. Alright, roll your three. Oh, wow. That was... Like, on your screen, it's appearing, like, so quick. Like, mm -hmm. I like it. You must have a really good connection to me. Okay. Uh, two skulls. Cool. Got him. Got him. I guess I could skedaddle too, couldn't I? Yeah, or move one face back into the door to make him move and attack. Yeah, sorry. Actually, it's how, how do I get out of this room? It's can we? Um, you're on the. Uh, you're standing on the secret door. Okay. Yeah, to the blue. And, and that. Okay. In in that case, I, I would like to move back to towards the barbarian then. Um, yeah, because you can you can actually run down the stairs to just escape. I mean, everybody else will find you in the next quest. Or yeah, you could backtrack. Nah, I mean, I'm gonna go go go. He's gonna go stand next to the the boss. So, um, I don't stand next to him, just stand in the doorway because if the wizard or anybody else makes it in there, they're also going to end their turn. This would force him to move and attack instead of attack and then move and get in there for the next turn strategically. Okay, so what do you suggest you do? <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry, yeah, that was Jace. Sorry, Jace, what, what were you suggesting? I'm saying is just go one step in so that he can protect whoever comes through the ice tunnel in case oh. the, uh, the alchemist makes it in there. That way, uh, if you move all the way in, then they can just run in and attack the alchemist or the barbarian or whoever comes through the tunnel because their turn ends. Okay, uh, we'll do that then. Thanks. Suggest you block No door. problem. Yeah, and if you didn't catch it, the alchemist and the wizard are one and the same. <laughs> yeah. He's sacrificial. I can buy you another merc, says Fubar. <laughs> it's like, thanks a lot. I'm not getting paid enough for this. All right. <laughs> so, yeah, do, do we have a loyalty check on these uh, mercenaries? <laughs> They're just like... A... Yeah. They're real bastards. That's funny. Just go back into streamer mode so we're not hearing those beeps. Okay. All right. Great. Uh, okay. So next in line, and we're just we're using t turn order according to the screen. If uh, nobody nobody objects, so it's going to be barbarian, rogue, wizard, elf, knight. Just like the body points showing there using the icons from the borrowed from the companion app. So rogue is next angus mcbain uh, nine for my movement okay so you've got a pit trap to try to cross i know the door kind of covers it up so pit trap there some ice there another pit trap there <laughs> uh. i think you've got a healing plus four you might need it all right, so I can go one towards the door, one one to the right. Okay. And then and jump the trap or the pit. Oh, I just realized I'm not showing the Discord. Sorry, hold on a second here. Okay, so you rolled a nine. Yeah, you did. Okay, so you're jumping the trap. Just avoid getting that skull. Oh! Yeah, yeah, yeah. fall in the pit. Ah, clunk. Okay, so you fall in the pit, you lose your body point. All right, I'll suck down the plus four healing. Boom. Back alive. So cross off plus four. 
Back to four. And... I mean, five's your maximum. Uh, I guess anyway. I'm done. <laughs> yep. <laughs> good, good turn. I mean, these, these quests are not easy, so that's how it goes. All right. Wait. The, yeah. Yes, like the secret door. The room doesn't connect to the room I'm trying to go into, does it? Yeah, it would just be a loop. So if you went through the secret door, you'd go here to this. <clears throat> Sorry, that's reflecting off. I could have reprinted uh, Avalon Hills tiles, but this leads to here. And you go back through here, go back through the secret door. <laughs> ah. All right then. Okay. I I can basically it's tell you all the room all the revealed rooms have been explored except if you look down here this bottomless pit which is very perilous leading to this door this room has not been explored but after one mercenary fell in to his death, nobody else wanted to to try it. Yeah, we all avoided it after that. That's got to be where he did valiantly charge is, over it? there and try to jump that pit, though. What'd you say? I said he was wounded, and it was a valiant attempt to jump the pit and make an attack. <laughs> <laughs> no, but somebody else said something. Oh, this that's got to be where the gear is stored that was stolen, right? I'm not saying I mean, word. My assumption, yeah. We have everywhere else has been explored, I'm just saying. We just have no means of 100% getting to that room and back without somebody permanently dying. Well, at one point, uh, there were some potions of airwalk that people had, but now we're just down to there's one. All, there's and only two. one. Yeah. yeah. So it would get you over there safely, but getting back. Is the You'd have to do part. a feat or something to get back, right? Yeah, I don't know what it would be. Who has the whip? Uh, does, does the elf have uh, any spells left? Nope. Uh, no. He's got shellac so. and mortar and the fire lance, so, but that's like a top. Okay, uh, all right. Not... Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, do you need a refresher on the elf? Sorry, Jade, sir, I kind of assumed. No, I um let me long sword, crossbow, helmet shield, plate. Yep. Uh two warmth potions of warmth, one magical aptitude, one holy water, shellac and mortar, uh potion of vision, recall, shellac and mortar uh, wait, I have two of them? Vision and potion of recall are used up. And I don't have the okay, holy water. Okay, they're both used. The holy water? Uh, so I forgot to copy it right. down. Let me double check. It's okay. Yeah. It would have been. It probably would have been a while ago because it's way yeah, up it's on the used. list. Okay, so he has four okay. healing plus fours. Magic resistance yeah. for damage. Antidote. Potion of dexterity? Or no, that was used up. Oh, the Elven was, Potion of Speed. Was that used up? That, that's used up, and he, he took, took a damage, damage so... That's right. Yep. So the effect is gone. Two warmth, air water, uh, fire resistance. 50 gold. Yep, fire lance, uh, antidote, yep, fire resistance. Because for the longest time I kept forgetting he had the plate mail, and so he was slow, and it was like, oh, finally he can move fast, and then he takes damage. Uh, hey, he got he got pretty far, and those double attacks got there for the uh, yeah before the or as the barbarian's courage was wearing off. So it was worth it. Big fire lizard says, "I want a potion of fair walk that lets me do a fashion strut like I was on the runway <laughs> <laughs> to impress uh, impress your friends, impress your enemies." Okay. All right. Um, yeah. So back to the back to the turn order. So the wizard, finally. I uh, get to stand up. Yep. The... Back on your back on your feet. All right. I'm gonna try to. Now you can walk try to my way up there. You can try to walk it, or you can try to jump over it. Um. Okay. If I try to jump, what's the odd fifty-fifty? Yep. Yeah. And then if I, I walk, what's the odds? 
uh, well, if you roll a, a white shield, you fall. But the way I look at it as, you know, from a player standpoint, it, you're giving an extra chance. Because if you fail to jump it, you still roll the die to see if you Oh, okay. So, it's so I can do an uncommon feat? Yeah, let's, I'm going to go for that. Well, it's not even an uncommon feat. It's just like jumping a trap. You can jump any okay, of those icy yeah. squares. Okay, so you're just trying to jump straight ahead, like to here? Um, yeah, straight ahead on that red square. I'm trying to jump over the... Okay, go for it. Roll your one di combat die. Avoid a skull, and you'll be successful. Okay, well, you failed. Oh. All right, roll again to see if you fall down. Okay, now how do I do that? Just two, is it... Uh... Just roll one white, and if it's... Roll uh, one white. Yeah, yeah so copy the face. white shield. Oh, and you fell. Yeah, I hate that this ice is the exact opposite of the pit trap. You know? Yeah, you can't. Not that it matters statistically, it's just, you know. I mean, I guess it does, but. Well, yeah, because it's only two, two out of, or one third chance, or one out of three chance to fall on the ice rather than right. a 50 50. It's just, you think the skull is the bad option. Grand Wizard Frederick said that potion is the right one. Um, for the elf, um, I think I have to jump a potion now, or a pit trap. Okay, so I think you're back up again. Yeah, there's a pit trap straight ahead, and that square that you can barely see. Did you redeem another potion, Fubar? Because I can't. I'm gonna have to like look at it here. Okay, got a five. What that potion of restore spells? <laughs> I'm just gonna check my queue here. Yeah, we've got an ad coming up anyway. Okay, I just want to make sure I hadn't missed anything. Oh, I'm safe. That's what I wanted. Okay. Okay, so you're safe. Mm-hmm. Um, I guess as I'm jumping over there, uh, I'm going to hand the knight the potion of airwalk. Okay. And that's it, the five spaces. Yeah. Giving it giving it to yourself, but yeah, from one hero to the other. Because you can always pass a potion on your turn or any other item on your turn. Raise me to solar nineteen twenty seven. Ah, solar, thank you. You didn't make the jump you were drinking I it. To make so. a point said Fred joke and got censored by the chat. Well, I, I know why they did the Fubar, but it's I know what you meant. It's okay. So Solar just redeemed three bonus potions for the heroes. Excellent. I'm sure they thank you. And see, I like a good fight. I, I don't want to necessarily have to just like wipe everybody out in one go. I mean, I like uh, to like to toy with my prey before I mm -hmm. <laughs> destroy them. So here we go. Superior Restoration. That's a good one. That's all body and mind points restored in one go. If you have a preference, hopefully you get those spells back. Well, we'll keep going through the deck until you get them, because notice, <laughs> notice I'm yeah. not shuffling them. Uh, magic resistance for damage. A good fight is tense and not necessarily going to win or lose. And another, another potion of warmth. So, sorry. Didn't get, didn't get the one you wanted. But now we got to divide those up. Any preference for who gets what or hero The preference? healing potion to the barbarian. Okay. What is the yeah, warmth that... one? Uh, warmth. Uh, so two, two uh, damage from ice spells or cold damage, whatever. Any other type of damage, it just gives you one back. Okay. Well, I, I can't take ice damage anyways because of my armband, right? 
yeah, I could take that yeah, one because I have so little hit points that it's actually kind of useful to me. So I won't overheal with it. Yeah, give that one to with to it. someone else. Get, take the greater restoration or for the uh, the barbarian. Yeah, whoever is the okay, most. That'll give you ten yeah. body points. Okay, when you die. I had one potion of warmth, and I have two. All right, so barbarian will take greater restoration then. So the wizard has two potions of warmth now. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, Solar, I'm, I'm crossing my fingers. Okay, I had written yep, down that, that the that Wizard and the, had and the, and the Restoration. Yeah, is Heroic Brew in the Wizard's Arsenal, or is it no longer? Yes. It is? Yeah, I have one potion of Heroic Brew attack twice, it says. Yeah, okay. I just wrote it in really light pencil, so I was just making sure I hadn't erased it. I try to strike yeah. through stuff instead of erasing. That's, like, my trick. Okay, so Superior Restoration goes to the Wizard. I mean, to the Barbarian. Barbarian. And that's actually a, a fan-made thing that Avalon Hill made official in the <laughs> Mage of the Mirror. It was just Potion of Restoration in both cases. All right. Okay. So. Uh, and what's the other potion? Magic resistance. This is the damage one. I'm oh, sorry. I should have one have potion one? of strength in my inventory too. If you're keeping track now too. I gave one to the knight. I thought I had three in all. I had two. I gave one to the knight. So I have one left. Okay. So who gets the magic resistance for damage? I already have two of those myself. Yeah. So. And the elf has one. I have one. Barbarian. Barb Wizard. One for spell effects. Does the knight have one? Yes, he does. Two. The knight has two. Barbarian or someone else who only has one. Is that cool? Give rogue. it to the barbarian. Remember, I don't care. Uh, the rogue, yeah, the rogue has two of one and one of oh. the other. So, barbarian gets it? Okay, oh, yeah. sure. That's all right. Now I have two. So, cool. Okay, all right. Now let's see. So okay, so the uh, the elf. I mean, what was the extent of his movement? Did he keep going? Yeah, One, just the five two, spaces. Two, three. So he keeps heading. And then forth. two more. Yep. Four, five. Yeah, believe it or not, there's nothing down that corridor. <laughs> Passed it a couple of times. Okay. After the elf is the knight. Right here. And the only downside of tonight is that I really can't go past 10 o'clock. I really have to do a hard stop. So if we don't finish, it's going to have to be two weeks from now. I'm just saying. I may actually have to leave even slightly earlier, like 15 minutes oh. before that. That's okay. Yeah. Easy come, easy go as far as this goes. And we've always got spots open so all good glad you could join us when you could that's what i tell people it's like i know it's four hours but i'm not saying you have to be there all four hours to play it's not one or the other oh <laughs> everybody bails it took a while to process but i got seven. Oh, i got seven again all right so yeah definitely seven lucky number seven one, two, three, four, five, six. Are you going into the icy room? Uh, no. I'm going to go to the left. Seven. Yep. Right there. Okay. All right. My turn. Yes, it is. Okay. Warrior. All right. Cast Warrior moves forward because, of course, he does, and he attacks. Crossbowman without mercy. Three skulls. Oh my goodness. Ching. One white dice, but uh, let's see. He only has two body points left, so I think he's dead. So. 
Well, he had one left, so he's definitely. Right, yeah, yeah, one body point. Yep. He dead. He yep. is dead. Is, is there ever any chance of rezzing uh, the the mercenaries, or are they just gone? Period from yeah. the board. Yeah, there's. Uh, I mean, they're they're dead, but I mean, you could always give them a we potion. Could, we could have given them a potion of warmth, but yeah. yeah. Give them a okay. potion ahead That's, of time. That's uh, mercenary number twenty-five. Dang. On this uh, two-part two-parter. Yeah, it's it's the frozen horror is like that. I mean, we've been pretty much playing it straight as far as like the dangers. I have not subtracted monsters or, or subtracted traps to try to make it easier, which I recommend that to anybody who's starting out. Unless you want a year-long campaign, like guaranteed, go go for it. Just play it as, as written. <laughs> Unless you get a lot of total party kills and people start getting mad, which hopefully won't happen to you. Okay. All right. Um... Let's see, I can move. Murdering time for the barbarian. <laughs> I'm gonna move into the room. We can't move, attack, and move. Oh, did I move to attack? Yes, you had to move one space oh, to attack. Oh, yeah, right. Was, that was, was the whole away. strategy. Dag nabbit. Okay. Jace threw out there. Okay. Yeah, Jace set us up for success there. Good job, Jace. Yeah. You're welcome. I have to just tweak that in the app. The uh, advanced cat warriors. Did you know? Didn't you hear? Okay, all right. Back to the barbarian. Papa Grizzly. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. My bad. Um, all right. Let me roll my. No, sorry. In your uh, your bot here, do you uh, does it parse integer math or? No. Okay, so I just that's fine. I can I can I I will try to add Ribby, two in my brain. Give, okay. Give Ribby your feedback, but I mean, yeah, he. Tried to keep it simple. That's fine. Uh, so, anyways, yeah, I'll just march right up to that chaos. Er, 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 that uh, dread warrior, chaos warrior, whatever the heck. Uh, he's square, so I guess he's a chaos warrior. Um, and I'll <laughs> yeah. swing, and I'll swing my big sword at him. Uh, two skulls. Well, wait a second, wait a second. You actually, you should be rolling two black, two white. I mean, two skulls is nothing shabby. You want to just keep it? Thank you. Let me do that again. Yes. Yeah, I'll try to get you in the habit. Three skulls. Ah, three yeah, skulls. there, there you go. Him. He's not going to argue. Okay. The three skulls. Yeah, um, if, you, nice. if you go up to your thing, copy uh, and, and hold it or whatever, and you can copy it, the text. And then you can pop that in there. That that's what I've been doing. So yeah. Are you okay. On, yeah. Uh, phone app. There. I, I got like two screens going at my my desk here. So. Oh, see that's yeah, that's easier. Cha ching! Oh, and a hit. Since this is not the European version, he's got two body points left. Okay. Yeah. We'll find hit though. I like the American version where they have hit points. Yeah. I want to play the European version really bad though, because there are Try some it. differences. No death, <clears throat> no death saves for potions, for example. It's competitive. You can actually attack each other. You actually lose your potions from the treasure deck on the next quest if you don't use them. So there are other ways that they make it challenging without necessarily pumping up the body points. Although they do that as well in the expansions, like for the ogres and the wizards. But yeah, one body point monsters. It's like even the witch lord only got one. So it says the spirit blade can kill him, and it can. All right, so we got nine for Angus. Yeah, interesting. There is a difference in rules between countries. Well, with the remake, you could say, okay, everybody's got the same rules now. But, you know, you may have people that are more nostalgic for the version they grew up with who are still playing it that way. Yeah, there's like the Japanese rules, European rules, North American rules. I think that was. Right, so much. I'm going to try and jump to right in front of me. 
then okay, put so down now. one space it's like if I'm able to clear it. Okay, now you have some options here. Are you trying to double jump the ice, you mean? Or are you just trying to jump over one? Because you've got a pit in this door as well. So it's, I guess, you could go jump, jump. Like checkers. I mean, it's up to you. You can jump as many squares as you want as long as you keep doing it correctly. Yeah, I'll just... I mean, what do I got to lose besides body points? Yeah. So, <laughs> but I mean... It, Double jumping is actually a different mechanic. So jumping both those squares, you have to roll a white shield to clear both of them. But then you're going to have to move back. Like you'd have to do a double jump and then another double jump, which is going to be really tough. Or you could just do a single jump, which you might risk falling down, and then do another single jump. <clears throat> so it's kind of up to you. Um... I mean, to catch up with everybody else, you kind of got to do something, right? Yeah, you know what? It's Let's go for it. I'm going to try the double jump, and I'll look, roll to see if I... Or a single jump. Single jump, okay. Do a single jump, see if I stick the landing. All right. Okay, roll your If I one. stick the landing, I'll try and jump outside. <laughs> right, here we go. Defense to you. Welcome. <sighs> jump, he well, said. Okay, so you jumped over. Or wait, jumping? Yeah, you jumped successfully. Okay, but now you've landed on some a patch of ice, so need need to roll your one. Mate, Mater three uh, redeemed an uncommon feat. Skull. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Okay, so you're safe. Oh, so okay, but he's saying the uncommon feat. Okay, so what should the uncommon feat be? Because I've already incorporated double jumping into the, into my rules. So, he, he does that thing like Legolas does in the Hobbit movie where he's jumping off of, you know... <laughs> Impossible, like, <laughs> physics. It's so when, I, when, I land on that, when I land on the one that's got the cracks in it, I'm able to catch just enough like, ground that isn't covered in ice, and then I can fling myself through the doorway over the other pit. Oh, okay. Yeah, so when I... That's fine. Yeah, so basically what Major Threeo was saying is, hey, you should try an uncommon feat. So he was giving you a hint. Normally what I was thinking with that was a person buys it and then just says what they think it should be. But that's okay, either way. So you're saying, uh, say it again, what, what he should do. Kind of like a little... Me or or uh. So what should what should, yeah? What should the rogue do? Yeah, I'm asking you. Sorry. Uh, because Mater Three S says I don't know. Just thought it might help. <laughs> Die. <laughs> Yeah, some somehow when I when I leap over that the first patch of ice, land on the second one, I'm able to catch just enough frozen ground under me that I can go flip through the door and land on the other side of the trap pit trap. Okay. All right. Uh, sure. Okay. <laughs> Don't die. <laughs> uh, all right. So go ahead. Roll your uh, roll your one. So basically, I'm like giving you another chance not to fall in the pit. Skull. No skull. Okay. Oh, so it's, it's successful. So Betcha, I won't roll. You flipped over. We'll re roll a single skull when I go to attack. <laughs> okay. So you made it. You made it over. And so you had nine. So one, two, three, four. You want to just keep on pushing forward? Oh, I thought I fell in. Cool. I saw. Keep going. No, because Skull is success for the uncommon feat, so... That's right, that's right. Favor. Five, six, at... seven... Yeah, I'll go, I'll go the full nine. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. That puts you right there in the corner. Right? Cool. Right. 
And I guess that's oh. all I can do. Maitreya. Ah, uh, yes. Or Maitreya. Yeah. I get it. I get it now. Thank you. Yeah, I always got to explain to people. I'm assuming it's a game reference somewhere? It's a theological reference, I believe, actually. Um, anyway, uh, let's see. Okay, so the, so the, uh, the rogue did his thing. And now the wizard. Yep. Need somebody to do the Kool Aid man through the wall to the stairs. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Actually, he fell down last time, so shouldn't he just, he's still down this, like this is the turn he's down. Sorry to take you fell down and you lost the rest of your turn and you, you could be attacked and everything. Let me double check. Like right. on his turn. Yeah. Is it, is it a Yeah, lot? it's so you can attack me on your turn, yeah. but there was no one around. So this is, turn is I was it a, Okay, I'm just wondering if I've been misreading it. Hero falls and his turn ends immediately. Hero must roll. Fallen hero cannot take any actions or defend against attacks until his next turn. Oh, okay. So he does get up on the next turn. All right. So it's not a lose your turn. It's just end your turn. And now you're right. End your turn. Okay. So he's back up. Yeah. I was <laughs> just taking away your turn there. Okay. All right. What do we got? Going for the the top. Alright, six. And that ends my turn, I think. Yep. <clears throat> so you jump on. Be right back. Break on through to the other side. Alright. Oh yeah, and see if we were a different kind of stream, that could be great. Because uh, certainly my own studies of, of things of that sort. <laughs> this is a very thoughtful stream. Um, I'm kind of shocked, actually. I, I thought it'd just be, you know, shooting the breeze and stuff. But uh, man, I'm, I'm feeling enlightened already. Yeah. What kind of lessons man can learn right before the end? Oh, like reflection. Yeah, get all fil wax all philosophical. All right. Yeah, you don't know when game over is gonna come, right? <clears throat> okay, so after the wizard is the elf. All right, elf. Roll. He's going to attempt to double jump the ice. All right. So you got to roll anything but a... Or I'm sorry, you have to roll a white shield to make it.
Oh, you failed. Okay, so you tried, but you landed on the square. Okay, roll again. Now a white shield's gonna mean you fall. Oh, Dave. What or how is the monthly first cheer? I'm not sure what I'm talking about there. Okay, so, okay, but you avoided rolling the black shield. Okay, I mean, you rolled a black shield instead of a white, so you didn't fall down. Okay, so you've, how much movement do you have left? Um, that oh. So now he's going to try to jump, I guess, the other piece of ice. Okay, so just jump to there. All right, roll your die. Yeah. Skull. Okay. So you made it. Uh, let me look in the rewards. I don't remember the monthly first cheer. I didn't think that was one of my options. Monthly first cheer. Oh, you're talking about bits. I personally don't recommend people cheer with bits. Don't do it. I think it's kind of a waste of money, personally. I mean, it's your money, so you do what you want with it. But I mean, like, when when I spend money on Twitch, I just, like, gift subs to people. That's what I like to do. Of course, I try not to do too much, because then it's like, okay, what, do you, what am I doing here? I'm just giving everybody a sub. But I mean, you could gift a sub to another channel. When you cheer with bits, I think I get like a few cents and then Amazon gets the rest. But I mean, it puts little icons on the screen, whatever you want to do. But if it's only gold, if it's free, I guess it's up to you. Uh, read the fine print though. I mean, I appreciate any support people want to give us. That's always cool. I think a lot of people just use their Amazon Prime gaming, like, for our channel. It's like something that you paid for anyway, because it's Amazon. But yeah. Just don't <laughs> spend money you don't have for something goofy like us. <laughs> Okay. All right. So the elf uh, made it across the ice. And yes, he did. Time for the night. Subs are nice, but it's also nice being a dom. Hey, Mel okay. Uh, can you uh, zoom out a little bit? right there see because if you go this way you're gonna have to you're gonna get stuck because you can't go back up the ice tunnel or the ice yeah. shoot the ice slide I should say he's gonna he's gonna go seven spaces but he's gonna go towards the the ice chasm room okay so he's gonna go into the ice tunnel how much no the night or the knight? The knight got eight. Eight. He's going to go towards the... He's going to try to jump that big chasm. Oh, shoot. So and he's explore gonna... that last room. Dang. Oh, man. I... That's the potion. <laughs> Do it. Well... I've got the whip, the whip and the airwalk potion. So it gives me one chance. Oh, man. You're going to lose a lot of stuff if you die, but hey... <laughs> well, I already asked the question, so if he goes the whip across and I fail, I drink the airwalk potion and get out of there. Oh, I see, I see. Hmm, interesting. But, and since the elf jumped the pit, the elf didn't drink the airwalk potion, so I was able to give it to the knight. So right now there's a lot riding on it. Like I said, the elf had to make it across the first that little pit. Now the knight has to make it across the big pit, and then I still don't know what's in there. Well, hopefully somebody will buy you yeah. a potion, and it'll be another airwalk for your sake. Or you're just 
really going to get a good well, one today. Well, I, like I said, I don't know what's in there, but like, right, or a spell scroll for a pass through rock, or there's a couple, I, or a potion of dexterity might let me, that gives me a bit jump, but I don't know if that counts. Yeah, that's true, that's true. Yeah, because it's just like a regular pit, except, yeah, it's just, if you fall in, instead of taking except one body point. instant death. Yeah. Yeah. Know. Game that system, Jacer. <laughs> I'm, I, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna I, try to I prefer make to reward the happen. cleverness of my heroes. I mean, if if they abuse it, but on a quest like this, I'm a little right. I'm, if I, if I don't it. make it, there's still four heroes and then a dwarf in the next one if we need them. So I'm gonna try. Oh man. Okay, so you're gonna you're gonna head back. Is what you're saying. Well, can I go to the other way so I don't have to jump that other pit trap? Yeah. So you could go this way. Okay. Down here. Down here. Yeah. All right. I'll, I'll go that way. Eight spaces. Or wait, you could go this way. Sorry, you could you could go this way. Here and here, because I think that way is open. Yeah, it is. Okay. All right. Whatever whatever way feels One, shorter. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, I'll make that decision next turn. Nice. I like your stat. All right. Yeah, because if you die alone, all that gear is gone. I mean, it's a bottomless pit, so he's, he's falling. He has a lot of time to drink that air walk. Yeah. You know, it's like 12 feet. Would he have he's time gonna... to, like, combine those potions? <laughs> Are they, like, flying <laughs> out of his pack as he's <laughs> going? Yeah. Okay, like he's skydiving. Rumor has it he's still falling. You'd come out on the other side eventually, or you'd get stuck in the gravity well of the, the hollow earth or whatever. <laughs> okay, uh, my turn. He pops out the other side and fights Grim dead. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be great. I hope they bring Grim. They give a nod to Grim dead in the in the official lore. Uh, yes, yeah, modern different. remake lore. Okay. Uh, Cast Warrior Attacks. Jace are yelling to the party, this ain't no horror movie, I'll be right back. <laughs> Alright, two skulls, Barbarian. Hey, sir. Okay. Dang, too bad that wasn't an attack. Yep, alright, I have two body points left. So two hits. Yep, you're down two. And let me fix it on the screen here, too. Okay. Um, do, should we do we wait for the ad to finish going, or do we just keep going? If you're if you can see what's happening, then. Yep. I, yeah, I can see what's happening. Um, all right, a uh, question. So if the Barbarian took one step north, uh, my my greatsword allows me to attack diagonally. Can I attack diagonally through a secret door like that? Yeah. Okay. Uh, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take one step north. Um, and I will... Okay, I'm going to swing my sword. Okay. Cast Warrior Defends. Wait, didn't he use two black die? Oh, he did. Okay. Yeah, he did. Yeah, All right. Black <laughs> Ching! Alright. No mercenary. Sad. Okay. Rogue. Yeah, whole flash my move. <clears throat> okay. Great. Uh, what do I got to roll to try and double jump? Okay, to double jump, you got You have to do a, uh, a white shield. But I mean, he's right there, so I guess. Yeah, I guess if you got movement left, do one, two, three, four, five. You can come out on the other side. <laughs> 
That took right. forever. Yeah, sometimes they stack up, I've noticed. Yeah, especially when there's a five add in a row. Okay, so you went boom, and then boom. So now you gotta roll again to see if you actually slipped. I guess I could have been strict and said, no, 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 you can't go there because the elf is right there. It's got to be like over here, over here, or something else. Did you get two skulls in a row? <laughs> Let the yeah, that's all I've been rolling. See, skulls. see. <laughs> Someday they would play an ad or something like I like. Yeah. When they play stuff for ad ads for stuff I don't like, I think, okay, good. They don't have my data. <laughs> they don't have enough of my data. Yeah, they haven't figured me out yet. A little targeted advertising. Okay, so Angus, did I misunderstand? Did you you rolled another skull? Yes, you did. So, did. so I rolled the first skull, so I, okay, I didn't do my double jump. Okay. Rolled the second you, skull, so I didn't fall. You didn't fall, yeah. See, unlike Jacer's, like yours appears like so quick, I can't even register it in my mind. It's like it's already there. Okay, so you're fine. So you could you could keep going. One or one, two, three, four, five. Do you want to go? Well, I guess you want to try to jump the next one. Or how do you want to proceed? Yeah, it's different shot. Okay. I'll let you hop onto the elf's shoulders. Okay. So you successfully jumped. Ah, and then you... Where are you going to go? Here, here, or here? Uh, North? East, one square west? One square ahead of the elf. Okay. Yeah, just keep going forward. Yeah. If it were a narrow tunnel, I guess it wouldn't necessarily work the same way. Maybe. <clears throat> Probably be easier, actually. Whatever. Okay. And that's it again. All right. No action. Okay. I mean, these rooms have pretty much been searched uh, exhaustively already. Okay. Wizard. Ooh, okay. Your friend Steve redeemed a bonus monster for Zargon. Another bonus <laughs> monster for Zargon. Yeah. Now we're talking. Yeah, knock yeah. that off. The bonus monsters of Zargon. That should be the name of a quest pack. Another one! <laughs> Steve! Chaos intensifies. Alright, where are these going? Okay. Alright, I'll have to uh, roll for them. Well, I don't have to. I've imposed that on myself. Got him. Okay, so that's ooh, nice. Okay. Okay. Taste the dread. <laughs> Taste the dread. Oh my god. So what is that? An ice gremlin, a gargoyle, and a goblin? Uh not quite. Not quite? Alright. Yeah. Kevin the gargoyle? Alright, so a goblin. A gargoyle. And a chaos warrior. Biscuits. <laughs> Biscuits, no gravy, huh? Yeah. All right. I just can't imagine that gargoyle crawling through them gremlin tunnels. Come on. <laughs> crawling through the gremlin? Yeah, they're pulling him through the tunnel. He's getting stuck. <laughs> He's widening the tunnel as he goes. Yeah. Super grumpy. Yeah. Chipping away with his weapon. It's smashing time. Okay, so the wizard, after all that, still has a turn. 
Um, how far can that Chaos Warrior move there? Uh, seven squares. Hmm. He can reach you. Yeah, you, when I when I stepped north, my intent was to give you a better line of sight, but maybe that wasn't so wise in hindsight. Yeah, I don't have any spells, or else it would be useful. But see, if you were standing in the door, I could attack diagonally. You do, Count uh, Cogpox, you do have a sling. It's one die, so you could shoot at it. Yeah, but unfortunately, he moved. the barbarian moved north and not south. Right, he's in the way right now, where I'm at. You'd have to move. Right, because I would shoot him, and then I'd run back in the tunnel. Uh, (laughs) That's what I would do. Well, an uncommon feat, you're going to risk hitting the barbarian, but you could try to get a shot off. It's up to you. How many hit points does he have? Uh, two. Chaos barbarian has two left. Two. And the barbarian, the coincidentally, two. has two left. Yeah, it wouldn't be worth it for me. I'm going to have to go back in the tunnel here. And pop out the other side. All right. Well, that only requires one movement, so you're going to do it? Uh, yeah, I mean, I guess because I can't risk being... I don't have any attacks, really, that I could even kill the Bart. The odds of me killing the Chaos Warrior... Are really unless, low. Unless you run up bravely and try to finish him with your uh, alchemist staff, that's too black. But I mean, if you fail, you're, yeah, you're, yeah, he could eat up the yeah. next attack. The odds of me getting two attacks through without him blocking any is extremely low. Um, so I'm not, I'm not going to take that chance. Though it, it's much higher likely. Oh, you could use the getting killed. You could move, use the heroic brew with the two staff attacks. Oh, that's true. I mean, I'm not telling you what to do. I'm just saying. I forgot I have access to a bunch of these. Yeah, there's so many. That's the thing. There's so many options. This is Mentor talking. This is Zarga. Right. Let's see here. Oh, oh, yes, yeah, yes. Yeah, go, go fight him. <laughs> Fubar says a goblin, a gargoyle, and a chaos warrior walk into a bar. Frozen horror says, "I got to get better minions." I use by yeah sword. Yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to go up and help. I'm going to take the chance, and I'm going to go. Right. Um, do I have to roll here for movement? Yeah. My... No guts, no glory. Yeah, I'm going to go for it. Hero quest. Not careful. Fancy quest. Yeah. <laughs> Not careful, thoughtful, uh, self-preservation yeah. quest. <laughs> All right. You got nine. So um, put me if you're dead, you can't south of the door. Accomplish uh, the or uh, southeast of the Yes, warrior. One square. Six. Like so. Yes. And then, because I can attack diagonally, correct? Yes. Okay. And then I shall use the. Uh, heroic I gotta brew. use the heroic brew. This is a heroic move I'm going for here. Yes. I'm aiming right for the solar plexus. I am so excited four, to see how this. Four black dice. That's yeah. awesome. Yes. Yep. He's right. Boom, 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 boom. Yes. Dang. <laughs> All right. Nice. Sorry. I shatter his solar plexus, and his clavicle takes some minor damage. All as well. right. The heroic brew is definitely used up. Okay. So let's roll my four. It was I... worth it. It needed to happen to clear the way. If I get my four black shields, I'm gonna laugh so hard. Yeah. <laughs> that would suck. Wait, is he elite? Yeah, oh, dude. Three. Hits. Yes. Back from whence you came, Damn. foul spawn. Go back to the shadows. <laughs> yep. Yeah. I get jaunty back. That was pretty right damn now. heroic. He very well might be the guardian of the secret fire. You never know. <laughs> right. I'll set off my potion, my massive potion list. He, he must have used the chalk square before he did it. I, I think that's what does it. <laughs> well, chalk the end of it and then <laughs> eight ball in the corner pocket. Okay, masterful. We might die horribly at the frozen horror, and but that move alone will have made this whole three-hour session worth it. So <laughs> thank you for that. <laughs> Happy to be that. here for that one. Yeah. Great. Okay, Elf. Nice roll, says Matreya.
road zone. I'm two towards the tunnel. I was expecting a different action. <laughs> right, to the tunnel. Two spaces, so not quite, but oh, he's closer. Oh, okay. Uh, do you want to be on the to the east or to the south? <laughs> Doesn't even matter. Okay. Uh, that that's fine. All right, night. Oh, wait, the knight should probably try to run out with us. He's going to get in a fickle situation here. Yeah, his situation sucks. So do you. You weren't expecting that gargoyle I party. I wasn't expecting. Yeah, no, no. I'm actually glad it was a gar. Uh, uh, that, I'm actually glad it was a Chaos Warrior and not a Ice Gremlin. Because <laughs> the Ice Gremlin has 10 movement. But yeah, he's pinned. Yeah. Well, and oh, I mean, because basically an Ice Gremlin is a uh, Chaos Warrior that's a little weaker, but has better movement and can steal stuff. Yeah. Yeah, monsters auto jump uh -oh. hits. Oh, sorry. You're making Mentorbot mad here. Yeah. Your input pattern is invalid. <laughs> it's true. Uh, I'm going to go eight spaces to the left. Papa Bear says, it's raining outside in Arizona. If I suddenly cut out, then odds are that I've lost power. Okay, well, I hope you don't... You're going to go left? You're going to get deeper. Yeah, but at least there's a single corridor. If I go up or down, then I could get hit with a double corridor, and it could hit me from two angles. Okay, so did I do that Eight right? Eight spaces is... The, yeah. Eight spaces? Yep. The only thing I can outrun with eight spaces is a goblin. And there's still a chance that they go out the other door and then head over the ice and hit the other three guys. The knight's a pretty tough guy. But yeah, he's gonna... He's gonna... Yeah, have... it, he's tough, but a gargoyle and a chaos warrior at the same time still wouldn't be fun. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. No guts, no glory. Okay. My turn? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Alright, I'm just gonna take a look here. So the gargoyle moves six squares. One, two, three, four, five, six. Chaos Warrior moves seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Goblin moves ten. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Barbarian. Yeah, I, I know. I need to paint that. I glued the wings down. This is a 3D print. Just so you know, I would never glue down the original wings. I'd probably use sticky tack before I would do that. These are the 3D prints that I'm slowly painting my own way. What kind of printer you got? I don't have one. I just uh, have other people. Oh, you got one? Yeah. Me. Yeah. It's either expensive or it's slow, but. Maybe someday. Yeah, sure. Just the place that I've got now just doesn't have room for a adequately ventilated. Yeah. Pretty printer. Yeah, that's a pretty big. Stink. By the time I get one, it'll, it'll be good. Yeah. I think I would probably get one of those resin printers. I don't know though. It's, yeah. The resin is the best for minis. I I feel like the ones that, even with the uh, kind of slightly bendy stuff, I mean they're more like these are the ones that are you're gonna paint and is that the abs plus or resin style i think or is it the i don't know i don't know 
Dark enough pick about it. is the best. Because I've, I've still had some of these break on me, and it's like, dang it. Yeah, they can. They can be pretty brittle, depending on the resin used to make them. As opposed to the rubberized miniatures that you get from Reaper or Hero Quest Remake, which are pretty durable. Malkadon X says, My classic Gargoyle mini has glued on wings, but that has to be due to them breaking 30 years ago. Yep. Rebby says, The minis I make on my FDM printer is pretty good, but you can see the layer lines through the paint. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, FDM is really good for scenery, like making boards and, well, and objects. I was gonna say for the uh, for the little uh, rings that he made for the oh the that's great for that stuff too yeah because those rings actually give it a little bit of a grip when yep. you put the miniature in there so it, yeah it works in our favor and when you're doing like wooden furniture it looks like wood grain so Matreya says uh, I've been liking printing multicolor minis on FDM nice so you're not the only one that does that. There's one other guy that was showing off. Is that Theodore that's doing that? On Unless you're the same person, and I'm just... Because <laughs> I know people have different names. For the longest time, I'm like, Joe Kozier, you got to meet this Angus McBain guy. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds just like you. <laughs> yeah. You guys related? I printed a number of classic-styled HQ minis on my Android 3. He's my buddy. Oh, nice. Nice. So you share and share alike. I like it. Ruby says same. I've got some 3D printed ogres for uh, the original Age of the Mirror. Oh. And even those, they're not totally smooth. There's some. Yeah. Who doesn't have 3D line printed there. ogres, you know? <laughs> yeah. It almost kind of looks like they're uh, tribal tattoos on them. Ah, yeah, could be. Okay, uh, all right. Back to the game here. So I moved all my monsters. It's barbarian time. Gons Grimm is here. Is that Papa Bear was the barbarian? Yep. Did he step out for a minute? I don't, I don't see him, so oh. maybe he lost power. Oh, shoot. Yeah, he warned us that was going to happen. Okay, well, sorry, Papa Bear. I uh, hope you get your power back soon. I mean, he, he can't hear us anyway, but yeah. Uh, I see him still in the in the chat, but... We lose your audio. Um, yeah, I was going to say, somebody else can take over until he gets back. Anybody want to volunteer? I'll take him. Uh, I would say, if, if that's the case, you can move him two spaces and leave him on that secret door tile right there, and he can guard the exit until he gets back. Sorry, who who volunteered? I wasn't looking at the who was speaking there a second ago. Oh, that was me, Angus. Angus. Okay, thanks. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll have him move one space and oh, you guys confirm and guard the uh, secret yeah. door. See, that works, too. Oh, five, yeah, have him move two spaces so he's two standing on the one. secret door tile. Yeah, two spaces, move one into the room. Like that? Is that what you guys yeah. are saying? Yeah, that's 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 an easy way to do it. Rather than assigning it, you just, yeah, you guys just decide amongst yourselves what he's going to do. So, all right. Okay, so we just did your turn there for you, Papa Bear. Um, okay. Angus with the rogue <clears throat> seven uh, seven so I jump in the tunnel and end by moving on the other side all right break on through to the other side and I guess that's it again Uh, let's see. It's barbin time. So yeah, if you're getting one for minis, go resin, says Ruby. Petraeus says, try, uh, looking at trying a point 
two millimeter nozzle next to see how good it can get the detail. Malconex says, I printed a classic Getty and painted it to look like Sully from Monsters, Inc. Of course. I should paint that's one awesome. to look like Cookie Monster. Yeah, that's fun. That works too. Or the just the um, Wampa from Empire Strikes Back. I've actually got three of those Sullys, those uh, dollar store metal minis. Yeah, I always think of those as hero, even though they're not official HeroScape minis, like, that's perfect. Like, once HeroScape comes back for real, like, those are going to be selling like hotcakes, like people buying those metal <clears throat> minis. They should enter into a partnership yeah. with them. I found, I scored a couple of donkeys, so I'm going to do one with a cart and one with just saddlebags. Jacer's uh, donkey war cart. You know, we all know their wampa. Yeah, well, the saddle bag is uh, it's a tea bag. Tea bag, yeah. Holds it over yeah. him. So that's the saddle bag I got sitting on him. So right now he's loaded up with the satchel of tea. Am I remembering that wrong? Is that Juan Valdez, the guy who carries in the coffee guy? Yeah. Oh, coffee, not tea. Okay. Yeah. I think it is Juan Valdez. Yeah. Juan Valdez <clears throat> is his trusty uh, donkey war cart. Okay, uh, anyway, so the rogue did, did his roguish thing. And I think it's on my move. Yeah, the wizard. I roll a three. I'm going to go directly south of the barbarian. Okay, getting closer to the stairway. We're down here, I suppose, and wait for. I have two sets of Hero Escape, but I mostly use them for battle tech. We'll see. Malkinex, I have the same idea the other way around. I have Hero Escape, which I haven't played yet. I still want to. And I bought some battle tech figures to use with that. <laughs> I'm also going to use them for Space Crusade as Dreadnoughts, too. But anyway, yep. Proxies, gotta love them. Uh, yeah, the elf uh, moves one space and dives in the tunnel. All right, he goes through, which in turn pushes the rogue to the side automatically. So that's Avalon Hill's take on it. All right, now the knight. Ten. Ten. Keeping ahead of uh, Goblin. Guess, uh, yeah, heading south. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right to the corner. Okay. Okay, my turn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Mm. Decisions, decisions. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two. Three, four, five, six. Okay, so I just moved them in there. Yeah, splitting the party and splitting the party. <laughs> okay, Barbarian. Uh, stands the ground and guards the door. It's goblin time. Okay, so you're going to stay there and rogue. to be typing in the rape chat. Yeah, I've done the same thing. 
Yeah, I, yeah, I think we've all done it. I mean, in the chat to do the roll. Let's see. So, three down and three across, so I'll be one past the barbarian. Okay. Alright. Alchemical Master. Okay, let me see. Hold. Um, okay, I think I'm just going to go for the stairs. All right. Okay, now does this mean you're going to go head over there and just basically be off the board until everybody else goes? I mean, I guess. I don't have a lot to add <laughs> at the moment. At the moment. Um, you know, I just have one spell that would let me move double in one turn. Yeah. Um. And a couple potions, but I probably got to save those for next next level. So I'm not really of much use to the guys right now. Um, I assume they're gonna. We're all trying to get out um, as soon as possible. Okay, so I'm basically putting you in the the limbo right now. That it's quest nine. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Fubar says, here's something you can do on those stairs. A bonus monster. Oh, he wants the monster to come off the stairs. Okay. Waited too long. Thank you, Fubar. It's like, how about a little fire, Scarecrow? All right. Another Chaos Warrior pops up. So, I guess you could you could uh, stay and fight him, or you could uh, run down the stairs. Something heroes. Power. Yeah, I mean, I I guess I'm gonna go. I mean, I feel like I'm still not gonna add much to the to the uh, overall fighting of him. Yeah, you don't you don't have anything to prove. You already took out the last one. Yeah, I don't have a lot a lot to add. Like I said, I don't have a lot of attack stuff left. Um, I mean, I'm pretty gonna, limited. Are you going to hit and run or just run? Well, I can't hit and run, right? Why not? Sure you well, I thought you could. Because so you already moved the walk. stairwell. Yeah. Oh, I see. It, he would just be. You're right. You're right. He would be stopping his movement to do that. Right. Okay, good point. I was trying to trick you and it didn't work. Okay. <laughs> okay, so he's running down the stairs. Ah! <laughs> Yeah, I mean, if I had some more spells or something, I, I would definitely linger. He's, he's hanging um, out, waiting for, for the rest. Ads. Okay. Uh, all right. So, next, Elf. Six. Uh, I guess three down and oh, uh, two to the left. I can't get that six spot. Mm -mm. He's there for now. All right, Knight. Seven. I'm back. I'm not into Pokemon, NFL, or Libby's. All right, four spaces to the right. And uh, one space through the door. Okay. You're in the room. Uh, I'm going to search for traps since the uh, there was monsters in it the last time we were in this room. Yeah, formerly there were monsters. Okay, so no traps detected. But you do see a massive bottomless chasm in front of you. 
which can be jumped as a pit, but any hero who falls into it is lost forever. Dun, dun, dun. Well, that makes it your turn. Okay. And, uh, and um, on the next round, since the um, the wizard is safe, uh, do, you, any, do they want to use the uh, elf? Wait, say that again? I said since the wizard's safe, do they want a, another hero to control and, and want to use the elf? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I wasn't trying to exclude you from the game there. Uh, so what do you think? Cog Cogpox, you want to take Oh, no, no, no. I'm, I'm pleased waiting. I, I, I'm good. Okay. Oh, okay. Let's get a measure up his potions. Monster popping out of nowhere from the spiral stairs. What is this? The HeroQuest TV ad? <laughs> <laughs> well, once you enter... Broad sword! See, I, I like the HeroQuest ad. I didn't see anything wrong with it. I mean, yes, they're using prototype pieces, but... Fast face-battling barbarians and evil magic. The the only... I, okay, okay. It is true that the way they play the... Uh -huh. The Fire of Wrath and the Broadsword, it looks like they're fighting each other, which you could do in the European version, but not the North American version. So maybe that would have confused some people. And if you look closely at the text, you'll see that the Fire of Wrath is different. It says you can destroy furniture with it, uh, which the normal one doesn't. And it, do it says you specifically can't target other things uh, with it. So it clearly changed at some point. But that's for only for people who freeze-framed it back in the 80s off their VCR or 90s. Okay, so my turn. Oh, I yeah. love that ad. Yeah. Yes, okay. it is. What to do, what to do. Um, Alright, let's move that cast warrior through. Boom, boom. One, two, three, four, five. So now we got a gargoyle and a cast warrior in the room. And this cast warrior is going to come over and attack. Let's attack the barbarian. One, two, three. Like the idea of blasting furniture. Well, could be a mimic, you never know. Can't be too careful these days. One skull against the barbarian. And a wrestling move. How about that? <laughs> Alright. Uh, you can try to defend, but I get a free hit because of the wrestling move. You know about the wrestling moves, right? Rolling Jace, you want me to roll? Uh, you can roll. Oh, I forgot. He's he's still got no power. Do you roll for defense? Uh, uh, five. five. Five, yeah. Durf and Steve redeemed a cast card for Zargon. Nice. Oh, nice. He blocked it. And oh, blocked the into... Move. Oh, two First wrestling moves cancel out. Okay. Um, would you... Okay, so I have my deck of wrestling cards here. WWE cards. I had an idea. I, you don't have to accept this. I was thinking, like, we could each draw a move and try to figure out which is going to beat the other. Or we just say it cancels each other out. I guess it's... Since it's fantasy, I guess anything can happen. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Just cancels each other out, or you both both take damage? I'm asking. You, uh, I, I would allow it. I don't know. I'm kind of curious to see what's in that deck. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, I do get a chaos card. Ah, I like that. Okay. So let's see. We'll draw for the first. We'll draw for the. Cast Warrior. <clears throat> I 
All right, so frog splash. Okay. <laughs> Let's draw for the barbarian. Camel clutch. So I guess the completely uh, don't make any sense because the one you're like leaping through the air and landing on him, the other one you've got him on the ground already to try to do it. <laughs> well, as he's leaping through the air, the barbarian caught him and put him in the camel clutch. Put him in the camel Sorry, clutch. Miss. Break his back. Make him humble. But, uh, you know, in that whole struggle, the armor had to, like, uh, you know, jammed in the wrong way or something that they yeah, broke it, it down. Yeah, it canceled each so. other out, but, yeah, it's funny. They, they just end up in a bear hug. <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't have to buy this game, but I did because of Jacer. I thought that was so cool, just having... <laughs> wrestling cards. I should having take this... a, having a, a, a deck of wrestling moves. I was gonna say I could take this with me to Gen Con, but nobody would have any clue what the heck I'm, I was doing. It's like you can't bring cards from a, a totally different game into Hero Quest. What are you doing? <laughs> Get out of here. You can only do it if you're Zargon. Right, right. It's like listen, let's make this a little <laughs> more interesting. <laughs> what? Yeah, I mean, because the way I do it, it's like just just name a wrestling move. It could be anything. Just, just for fun, just for flavor. Okay, so after that, uh, I think. Oh, my goblin! Got to move my goblin here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So he's part way to your location. And uh, thank you, Durf and Steve. Okay, so that's that's my turn. Barbarian. We lost. No, Carl Casey's still going. It's just a quiet part. Uh, you want to roll uh, two black and two white for attack? Yeah. Somebody's got to roll for him. He's attacking. Oops, what I... Oh, I forgot to... Yeah, you got to put a space. Oh, uh, the... And you can't edit it. you got to do a new entry. Skulls, okay. Roll my defense. Oh, two hits. So he's only got one left. <clears throat> Is that all for you, Barbarian? I know you guys are collectively deciding. Yeah, we want him to stay yeah. there, right? Stay there until all the monsters are dead. Right, Loot so fight. There. There's a fight he's not leaving. <laughs> Skip leg day anyway. Okay. All right, Rogue. Right. Or Athalorn for you Warhammer fans. Alright, so. My elf deploys a forest land card. Tap it for green mana to summon a Bulbasaur. <laughs> yeah. Malkadon's talking about the. Uh, the very Mixed in Pokemon and Magic the Gathering cards. Yeah. Spend all day gathering swag and then just go to the Hero Quest table and just start, you know, it's like, you can't play the Ace of Diamonds. What are you doing? <laughs> and a poker chip. <laughs> and a pog for some reason. It's like, what? what? Hey, just remember all the Magic the Gathering cards come with the, the uh, strength and their attack and defense right at the bottom of the card. See. Makes it nice and easy. 
the body points would be the total converted mana cost, and the mind points would be it's any like, colored mana. It's like stone soup. Like, whatever you bring, you just throw it in there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so long, long sword is three, right? Three. Plus, the, plus you get an extra die then, for your... Yeah. For opportunistic striker, I get an extra combat die. Yeah, so it would be four. Four skulls. Ooh, wow. nice. nice. Let's see if I can get four black shields. Nope. Chink. 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 Oh, good. All right. The elf just has to roll a two. You say. <laughs> Got him. Um... I guess I'll, I'll stay there so there's room for the elf to come in. I mean, the elf could always just, you know, step over or step through. Yeah, yeah. yeah it doesn't matter. It's just, as long as that monster's out of the way, yeah, we can get in there. Yeah, I'll, I'll just yeah, have you, you can go down there because you, uh, you have a better diagonal and you go before the elf. So if they do gang on, up on the bar barbarian and it doesn't die, you can attack and then step back and then the elf can step in the diagonal and it could give us three attacks in one one round. Uh, are you saying go ahead and step up? Yeah, step one uh one to the right and one down with the rogue. Alright, yeah, move get, okay, move up next faces. to the barbarian. Yeah. Hi, I'm back. Hey. I was gonna say, oh we killed off your character, no I'm kidding. <laughs> no we didn't. Welcome back. So, uh, hopefully, yeah. nothing too, nothing too bad with the power. Not nah, just typical monsoon season nonsense. Ah, bonus monster for the stair room. Thank you, Durf and Steve. Alright, that's it for the rogue. Now it's the elf. For the yeah, because the alchemist is out. Yeah. All right, the yeah. elf. Got two on the crossbow. Okay, you're firing the crossbow at who? At who? Uh, the oh oh, I forgot about the gargoyle, the chaos warrior. I totally forgot the gargoyle was in there. It's like all that innocent-looking statue right next to him. It's nothing to worry about. <laughs> Okay, yeah, anyway, fair enough. Okay, so you fired at him, got two skulls. Two hits. No defense. All right. And now he's going to roll for movement. It was the 90s. Pogs were everywhere. Yeah, I never, I never got any pogs. It's camouflaged in oh. stone wall. All right, One. Stuck. All right, so you're just, you're stuck, huh? Um. Potion of Dexterity, five spaces. Okay, so you're using Dexterity? Yeah. Um, I guess he moves next to the monster on the stairs. Wait, how did... I don't see a Potion of Dexterity for the elf. Oh, uh, did he already use it? Alright. Well, let me oh. check, let me check. I'm going to make sure I didn't, because uh, when I covered everything over. Well, I got it I got it sometime after the elf speed potion, but before the antidote. Yeah, because nobody else has dexterity. Okay. All right. I'll just, uh, I'm not going to review the tape. I'll just say that you had it. Sure, go for it. Um, so he's he's going to go... 
Yes. Well, he's going to only move in three. So he's between the monster on the stairs and the rope. Malkadon says, unless you cast Sleep or Deep Sleep on it. Yeah, but nobody has that at this at this point. Everybody's used up. So the only magic that's still in the game right now is the Alchemist has Swift Wind. The Elf has a couple of scrolls, so basically the Rock Skin and the Fire Breath, aka Sherlock and Mortar Fire Lance. Everything else has been used up. Chaos card for Zargon. I appreciate that. Sooner or later, I'm going to have the entire de chaos deck. Steve is really praying for our downfall here. <laughs> I like Steve. All right. I got uh, a seven for the night. Okay. All right. I'm using the whip to Indiana Jones over the chasm. Okay. Let's go. I do it. I all made right. it. Da, 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 da. Two, all right. One, two, three, four, five. Two, uh, three, put them right at the door. Uh, all seven spaces, right? Yep. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I'll, I'll stick there. Okay. Okay, so you're at the door. Yeah. Yeah, I like the whip. And then that brings it up to your turn. Oh, wait, hold on. Um, I want to search for secret doors while I'm in here. I already did traps. So secret doors. No secret doors either. All right. Okay. okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine ten. Okay. Okay, there's the goblin. Because monsters don't have any problems jumping traps. Okay, so the monster on the stairs. The elf is pretty powerful. Rogue. Moderately powerful. Barbarian. Slightly weakened. All right. Uh, let's go for the Barbarian. One, two, three, four. Goblin. Upgrade Gabo. Ah, okay. So Matreya upgraded a monster. And Different Steve says upgrade Goblin. So the, now the, the chat, uh, they're like working together. <laughs> Of course, they're at cross purposes too. Uh, let's see, goblin. Hmm. I'm gonna say the goblin gets a crossbow. Yeah, I like that. Okay. <laughs> he pulls one out, <laughs> snaps it into construction. Okay, so. I I'm glad the goblin already went then. <laughs> Well, he did his it movement. It gives me a slight reprieve. Oh, okay. What was that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He did his movement. I was already moving on to... You're right. I already moved on to the next monster. So, yeah. A slight reprieve. Okay, so the Chaos Warrior attacks the... Barbarian. Hey, guys. I'm going to take off tonight since I'm... I'm out, and I gotta go pick the kids up from the grandparents. All right, cool. Well, thanks for playing. Yeah. Hey, I really enjoy playing. I want you guys to survive so we can play after JetCon. <laughs> yeah. Well, hey, if we don't, I mean, we'll just replay the quest, right? <laughs> yeah. So I'll be. Yeah. I'll be back in a couple of weeks. Awesome. Well, right, have a good time at Gen Con. Thanks a lot. Yeah. Thanks for joining us. You yeah, for sure. Time. I'll see you guys later. See yep. Uh, I lost a body point. I'm down to one. Okay. Okay, that's the one hour warning or the 
54 minute warning. Okay. All right. So barbarians down to one. All right, other monsters. Let's see. Uh, let's. Oh, Durf and Steve says uh, we should raid Amalgamash. Oh, is he streaming tonight? Sure. I didn't know he was streaming. Um, I'd be up for that. Okay. One, two, three, four. Oh, this is, yeah, this is the wounded one. So the wounded Chaos Warrior is it? Oh, not even seeing that. Chaos Warrior just moved there. Make everybody sick with the camera. Okay. <laughs> Darth Daddio followed. Thank you, sir. Just trying to get more coins to die people. Yeah. Well, yeah, hey, it's all good. I mean, we could always, I mean, he'll just see that a bunch of people raided him while he wasn't streaming. And that's fine. But yeah, if, if he's not on and there's somebody else you want to raid, I mean, um, we can we can pick from the list. So, okay. All right, so one skull against the barbarian. Ching. Yep. Blocked. Ka Ching. Okay, let's see. I'll move the gargoyle. One, two, three, four. Queue up. Okay, that's gonna be it for me. So, barbarian. All right. It's time to go hop on the pain train. All you guys that got me surrounded. Let's see what I got here. Um, all right. Which which? Sorry, uh, there's a there's a chaos warrior on my right. What's what's that on my left there? Is that an orc? Uh, you got chaos warriors on both sides of you. Both sides. All right. Oh, it's a chaos shadow, mosh. He does look a little bit like an orc there. Chaos mosh pit. All right, let me uh, let me smack the dude on my left then. The one in the gray room is already or... wounded. Oh, uh, is he okay? I mean, did I say the one on my left? I absolutely meant the one on my right. Fake. He faked out and went for it. Exactly. That was a feint. <laughs> say that again with that roll. <laughs> I'm feeling generous tonight, so we'll say okay. So four skulls. All right, let's see. Whoops. <laughs> I'm also feeling kind of clumsy. I've been in the wrong place. <laughs> We've all done that, haven't we? Okay. Nothing. Nothing. Hey, lop his head right off his freaking shoulders. Yeah. A hot knife through butter. Molly scores another hit. Another hit signal on single on the top of the <laughs> yes. Meaty Chaos Barbarian Sandwich. That's called a hero sandwich, right? Yeah, it is. <laughs> Malkadon's uh, throwing out all kinds of humorous things. I'm not giving him enough credit. <laughs> well played. Okay. All right. Anything else, Barbarian? Now that you've got an opening. No. No. All right. Rogue. Uh, all right. Uh, attacked another Chaos Warrior. Okay. Longsword, I'm guessing. So four. 
Yeah, long sword. Yeah, long sword or uh, halberd. Yeah, that's true. Uh, so it does have a buckler. Oh, so I got three hits. Nice. Ching and two hits. It's got one left. And. Oh, I'm not attacking with a short sword. Well, yeah, you don't get the yeah, dagger might have hit, right? Well, yeah, yeah you might. Have, oh, yeah. I was about to say, yeah. Uh, to get that bonus, you your first attack has to be with the short sword or uh, dagger. Okay. Yeah. Still got a pretty nice bonus though. Um. I think I'm good staying where I'm at. Uh, the elf will move one space to the left and shoot with the crossbow. And wrestling move. <laughs> you missed, but I got a wrestling move. Alright. You got something or you want me to pick it? Uh, I'd like you to pick it. Okay, I got the card. Maybe I'll get like Hawk Hogan or something. It'll be something crazy where they, you know... A running power slam. There, yeah, that's perfect. <laughs> running power slam. Oh yeah. Wait, okay. What? What, what is this? What? We're doing wrestling moves. <laughs> well, so. Uh, yeah, but, yeah I rule, got three shields. This British bulldog. Yeah, the, the house rule is: yeah, if you get three of your type of shield, whether you're attacking or defending, you just get an automatic free hit. But to make it fun, we just say, yeah, pick some pro wrestling move <laughs> okay so you're not drawing from the you're not drawing from the wrestling deck you just got to pick a move like well, double chicken chicken wing or yeah, ddt yeah. or whatever all right i mean cool. i just brought these out just for for fun because people kind of start to run out of ideas i mean some people do it's like okay you know you get your rock bottom you get your stone cold stunner you get your tombstone pile driver and it's like uh axe bomb you remember uh, <laughs> As a kid, I I mostly remember Rikishi's the big stinky or whatever, you know. Is it, is it, yeah. yeah, that's the. Yeah, that's, yeah. <laughs> what was the other one? Was it the bonsai drop where he just like? Sits oh yeah, Yokozuna. Yeah, oh, Yokozuna. Yeah, yeah, that's one thing. Yeah, yeah. The oh, other, God. the other uh, uh, sumo guy. Yeah, the Yokozuna was was before. Yeah, Rikishi. Wow. Yeah, it brings me back. But yeah, that's, mm -hmm. that's kind of the fun thing. So the the origin story for the wrestling moves is in the draft notes. Uh, Milton Bradley, they were talking about, okay, when the Yeti grabs you, you roll two white dice. And one white shield is no damage. Two white dice, you escape. But I thought, well, what if you roll three dice? And so three white shields would be you reverse the the hold you know you don't just break the hold you reverse it so i thought oh you do a wrestling move and then we just started saying well what if you just do that any other time and then then that grew into well what if the bad guy gets three black shields and then uh jacer was at what's that store that everybody likes where you get the the cheap stuff uh, uh, spencer's please. no uh <laughs> Not, not the dollar store. Ollie's. Ollie's. Yeah, yeah. So people go to Ollie's and bring back cool stuff. And one of them was this uh, um, Ravensburger WWE Royal Rumble card game. And, yeah, he was showing some of the cards. And it's like you've got all these, like, moves uh, <laughs> from wrestling. It's like, oh. <laughs> was that? Oh, did they have an Andre the Giant card? Did, did I see that? That's yeah. Bear hug. Oh, that's so that's so cool. Okay, dang. All right. That's the, that's the yeti <laughs> move right there. <laughs> I love that. Okay. Yeah. You got all. I'll stop holding the stream up. <laughs> okay. Yeah, but it's it's funny. Yeah, and it's definitely worth like the twelve to fifteen bucks that the game oh, sells yeah, for. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I know not everybody is a wrestling fan, but I mean, even if you didn't watch wrestling if you were a kid in the '80s, like you knew some of the stuff, like. 
Hulk Hogan's rock and roll wrestling was a Saturday morning cartoon show, and they had, you know, Mach Macho Man Randy Savage <laughs> here selling those uh, Slim Jims, and you know, they had uh, yeah, I think it was like Honeycomb, like Andre the Giant, and he was in Princess Bride, and yeah, it's like you couldn't get away from wrestling if you tried, right? <laughs> Ads brain shuts off back nice yeah I remembers thanks Malkadon okay all right so anyway uh, moving forward I kind of lost track okay so the, um, the the running power slam kills the uh, chaos warrior uh, <laughs> it takes him down All right, so, okay, the knight. All right, the knight's going to move two spaces and attack the crossbow welding goblin with the longsword diagonally. Aha. Two. Oh. There you go. I cut him in half and kicked both halves down into the pit. <laughs> <laughs> I should have upgraded his armor instead. Oh, well, yeah, that that'll be it next time. <laughs> He's got like a lobster pot <laughs> armor. Well, if he didn't get the crossbow, I wouldn't have had to run at him. I was, you know, I would have waited for him to get to me, and I'm you. like, all right, yeah, yeah, two upgrades. <laughs> got too close, too fast. See, I didn't say you couldn't have more than one, so it's like you get upgraded and then another upgrade. Yeah. All right, now it's gargoyle's turn. Yes, indeed. All right. Oh, boy. Here we go. It's on now. All right, pop. Okay. Down. Three skulls. Ooh, nothing. All right, I think I'm going to have to, yeah, I'm going to have to, well, I, I lose my, my body point there, and I'm going to have to roll one of these 1d6 healing drops. Uh, use your superior restoration. It, it'll fill you all the way up to 10. Oh, I, I figured I'd want to save that for the Frozen Horror, but if you think it's more strategic to use it now, sure. Your, your character. Well, at least you would start the next one full. All or right. Closer full. All right. I'll, uh, yeah, I'll snort some greater restoration. Mentor's finest. Kill him. <laughs> says Durf and Steve. Okay, so you use the superior restoration. Is that your final answer? That's right. So... Cross that off. What was what was my max body... I, I didn't catch from the... Um, my max body points is 10, but what was my max mind points? Three. F three. Yeah. Okay. It's two so extra, the one thing only... Two extra body, one extra mind for the Amulet of the North. Gotcha. Okay, cool. Alright, well, I'm feeling rather aggravated at his cheek, so I'm gonna smack him back. Three. Yep, okay. Three, huh? Yeah, Malkadon, uh, I do something like that in an old basic D&D, forego damage to do a cool wrestling stunt. I like your style. It's the rule of cool, right? Five defense. Cha-ching, and I hit. Okay. And he has, uh, what does he have, two body points left then? Yep. I for okay. Yeah, he's just like a slower, heavier uh, mm -hmm. warrior, basically. All right, so, uh, Barbarian. Uh, that's it for me. Okay. All right. Rogue. All right, I'm going to try and smack the gargoyle through the door. Who hits? Two skulls, okay. Oh, nothing. 
You killed him. Good job, Rogue. Boo. Sent him back to the shadow. At least they were never bored. Gord, maybe, but never bored. <laughs> Gore! Gore! Two hours later, we're done cleaning up Steve's mess. <laughs> I mean, anything can happen, right? So, it keeps it interesting. It's like, people don't want the Frozen Horror to end, I guess. They don't want it to end. <laughs> okay. Alright. Uh, okay, after the... Ro or, yeah. Is Rogue gonna move or anything? Uh, I'm just gonna hang out there. Okay. Alright, wizard. He's chilling. Pun intended. Uh, <laughs> okay, and the elf. Hello? Yeah, we can hear you now. Okay. Uh, the, the elf's just going to stay there for a minute, just in case another monster wanders down these steps. Um, the night... There's no monsters, right? They're all dead now? They're all dead. All right, so the, the knight is going to move and open that door. One, two, opening the door. That door has been right. opened in a little while. If it wasn't for last week with all the or a couple days ago with all the doors not being opened and I feel bad about not going down another path, I probably would have left this door. You're the guy that goes back and makes sure he collected all the coins. All the rings. Just in case. Yep. Malkadon says, Rogue has been my new favorite hero since it came out. I love how the skills are not all one-off. Yeah. I I was surprised. I wasn't sure if I was going to like him or not. But, yeah. And I was actually the one who started playing him in this particular campaign. So, And I kind of regretted it because I thought, oh, he's just kind of underpowered right now but quickly he got enough stuff to be pretty formidable bonus treasure search thank you Matreya for the night okay so he's giving you a bonus treasure search but first I better uh, warn can you I, can I can I get can I do the bonus treasure search before I open the door then since it's a free one okay but are you still gonna open the door well, yeah, if it's a bonus one, then I'm not going to end, it won't end my turn with the, because it's a safe one. Hmm. Okay, but it won't end your turn. Does so, the bonus search so, count as an action? Yeah, it does. Okay. So you, you move uh, through the door, and, but I mean... Since the timing. All right, of it, so I'll move the yeah. yeah, I'll move the two spaces and use the safe bonus search, safe search as my action, and then I'll open the door next turn. Okay, that makes sense. Thanks, Matreya. For the room ahead, I was thinking. Well, trust me on this. <laughs> Potion of healing, one d six. Just in case this room full of monsters well that's what i was gonna say if if it's full of monsters you're not gonna be able to search I, yeah, I, did, I didn't right. clarify i didn't say oh yeah you can just search any old any old where i was just the the, the oh perk. yeah right and i, I don't want to i don't, don't want to break rules with the bonus yeah. search either that's the why the perk i right. mean because it could just keep on growing the perk was to say okay even if you've already searched a room you could search it again and you can disregard any bad cards that's what i was saying but yeah, I could make it even more useful by saying, oh yeah, you can just search with monsters in the room too. And keep on, you know, doing your action. It's like, you know, it keeps on getting more and more 
useful. But for yeah, now, I, and like I said, I already moved two spaces, and I like yeah. said, I don't know what what's in the next room. Right. So unfortunately, you're going to get a card now. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Was that a plus four or a, uh, random? It's one d six. One d six. Write that on your sheet there. So I have. Is that my third one? I have that you have, yes, because the rejuvenation is the same, so effectively you have three now. Okay, all right, that's, all right, that's, that's the RUV, okay. Yeah, and you have three holy waters, by the way, as well, I just, what's that? Cause yes, like, who, I did have a lot of holy water. water. The then I have it, he's a paladin. <laughs> okay. Pretty much turned him that way. <laughs> Save. But there's not yeah. a lot of undead in the frozen horror. Yeah. Well. Anyway. Um, nobody said there was. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, so Matreya says, for the room ahead, I was thinking, still learning the ropes, I guess. Yeah, it's all right. I mean, if I don't explain the rules, how, how are you supposed to guess, right? Exactly. So, okay. So the night. So I get to draw my card now. Yep. Moved, uh, used an action. So, yep. I actually, get the you deck get a out. card. I've had so many monsters, I haven't had to use it, which I appreciate, by the way. Ah, nice. Alarm! You may open. Any one closed door on the board and reveal its contents. An alarm goes off, alerting nearby monsters. Perfect. So, oh, open on your next turn, eh? <laughs> so, since they're alerted, I'm going to say I can move them. Yep. Yeah. You figure you're going to get an, at least one attack. All right, so you see in the room, the room is revealed. Alarms going off. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> Something like that. Uh, not a futuristic alarm. So we've got three ice gremlins. I hate ice gremlins, right? <laughs> Why did it have to be ice gremlins? Why well, ice gremlins? They've already got my crossbow and my ice queen spear. So they might be taking more from you. Yeah, because I, I can't equip it all at once. I don't know. The I would if I could. Where are they going to go with it is the only thing. A lot of times they give me ice gremlins, but they don't give me any like clear path for them to like run with the stuff. Which, you know, they were being forgiving, but... Uh, that case let's see I can't take the weapon out of your hand I can't take your shield oh that'd be funny <laughs> I'm gonna take your whip playing two three four five six seven okay so that one's got your whip there one in the corner. Now this one's going to move forward. Doom, boom. And he's going to attack. He only attacks with two, though. Remember, boys and girls, Yeti are not mean or evil. All they want is a hug. <laughs> Thanks, Malkadon. Oh, I gotta, I gotta find out if these guys are elites or not. Sorry. Not sorry. Normal monsters. Okay, that one's normal. That one's normal. That one's normal. Okay, so they're all normal. Okay, so he attacks. One skull. Knight. Alright.
get another monster upgrade and I missed it. Um, I I don't think so. I see two two total monster upgrades. So one of them I upgraded with the crossbow. What was the other one? Durf and Steve says yes. Okay, I apologize for missing it. Oops. All right. Yeah, because sometimes it doesn't come through in the chat. It's an upgrade. Okay. Got it. All right. Let's uh, let's upgrade one of those. Of course, you already rolled your defense. You get a wrestling move. You gonna pick one, or should I draw one from the deck? <laughs> you know what? Draw one. Okay. Because you're right. I'm gonna fall into the same pew. Swamp. Uh, the same Power same uh, booth. Oh, this is junkyard dog. JYD. Blast from the past. Okay, so he picks the guy up. And slams him, like, <laughs> like, and like slams him forward. So that's one hit. See, it's like Space Crusade. You know, you run in at attacking, and then you you end up get taking damage. There is one place officially where that can happen, and against the Ogre Horde, the uh, Mind Blast, like the Sorcerer can attack you, but he rolls badly, like he can take mind point damage from you. Even if it's the barbarian. In theory. Okay, uh, let's see. Upgrade. Wait, what was that? Big fire lizard. Yeah, I'm just the wrestling moves, you get uh three or more white shields, you get an automatic free hit, but I'm using these wrestling cards for fun, just just for variety, just to kind of jog our memories with uh Imagination. Cause it's yeah, otherwise it would have been a stunner through the door, because that's what I usually get my go-to move for through a doorway. Right, I'm going to upgrade this one to an elite. I'll just do that, because he, he was The one that stole my whip? Nope. The one oh. in the middle. Oh, the other one. Yeah. Oh, I thought you were going to let him use the whip. <laughs> that would be hilarious. That would be hilarious. Well, because you got the upgrade, and he's got my whip, so he'd be able to attack diagonally. You know, that's so cool. <laughs> maybe uh, maybe I should just do that. Okay. All right, so he can use the whip. Well, let's see. So that's it's still going to be, but, but, but it's only a diagonally. Uh, well, okay, well, upgrade the one that you got and have a move next to the one that stole the whip and get the whip and then go and attack me diagonally. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, it's still two dice, right? Diagonal? Do, do. No, the, the, the whip is actually only one. Oh, oh, all right. Now, oh, sorry. I wasn't trying to downgrade you. Well, but since he's an elite, he can do it with a black die, so I'll just do it Okay. That Here. All right. Negotiating with Zargon. Ah, and he missed. You tricked me. <laughs> do that. Well, either if he didn't do it, he'd have no attack. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, it's attack or no attack. Which are what you're gonna do? Okay, so we'll just remember that this particular one has a whip, and uh, so that's. Uh, but since he's an elite, he's attacking with black. He's defending with blue. Okay. And this one no longer has the whip. He's just regular. Okay. That's my turn. So back to the barbarian. Um. Okay. So I've been in this room for the longest time, and I, I actually kind of where are we headed? Sorry. To the stairs. Okay. So it, it was should... just that a bunch of monsters kept coming out of the stairwell, so that's nice. why it created all the monsters there, and then the other ones came out of the ice tunnel. And okay, you, that's why the heroes were surrounded before. You guys so, are trying to complete the quest, and the the audience is not allowing you to do so. Yeah, because so the night should, side mission. Yeah. Um, is it bad form for me to just like peace out at this point, or should I, you know, no man left? I, should I just head to the stairs, or what? 
it's completely up to you. Um, I I don't know what chat's gonna do, honestly. <laughs> that's that's where it's at. Fubar says, "Rule of cool, elite ice gremlin." Toss me the whip. I'll toss you the gold. <laughs> Corner ice gremlin tosses away. Elite sucker. Now I have both. <laughs> you know, I'm a I'm a you know no man gets left behind sort of fella. So um, and I got the most health. So I'll see all my 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 brethren out safely. Um, have we searched this room for treasure at all? Or yeah. I, I kind of feel like, except for where the 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 knights at, that the oh. board has kind of been. Yeah, it's been kind of picked clean. Okay. Yeah. I, I don't know what else to do then. Um, heck. Um. All right. Fine. I'm just going to go for the stairs, assuming chat allows it. So, uh, one d six. Hurry before they. Uh, plus eight. So yeah, I go. I. I stomp towards the stairs. Boom, boom, boom. Down he goes. So, Dio. hanging out together on the outside. Well, hanging out with the wizard and the uh, the swordsman with one body point. <laughs> yep. Okay. All right. Rogue. Um, I'm just going to hang out here in case we get any of the car or monsters thrown at us. I'll, I'll move up to the secret door. Yeah, because now we know that uh, people like to do that. <laughs> We're going to come out the ice tunnel or the stairwell. Or somewhere else. Or somewhere yeah. else. Well, well, like uh, well, what are those uh, question marks in the, the oh. left room there? Yeah, so you searched for traps, and I indicated those squares were dangerous, but nobody ever tried to disarm them or you know, sprung them. Okay. So, yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, otherwise that would have been long forgotten. <laughs> Unless somebody wrote it down. I noticed the app does something similar. It actually does flag the squares for you persistently rather than just, you know, one time. I mean, Zargon would just be like, you know, that square looks suspicious. And then it's like, wait, what square? It's like, I showed you already. You, gotta, you have to search on your next turn to find out what it was. I think we'd always, like, put our dice or something there, and then someone would go to the bathroom and come back, and it's like someone had moved the dice. And like, Dang it. <laughs> now we got to search again. Okay. Alright, so you're gonna hang out there uh, guarding the door. The elf is gonna move uh, just below the, the rogue there and help him guard the door. Okay. I'll be right back. Okay. All good. We got 20 and minutes. The, the, night. the knight will attack. Oh, wrong chat. <laughs> See? Good luck. I gotta get going. Okay, thanks, Big Fire Lizard. Don't stomp, Don't stomp the entire city in one go. Checking in. The crystal key found? Yes. The wizard has it. Okay, so you got two. I'll defend with three. Wait, I should have asked. Which, uh, which ice gremlin are you attacking? The wounded one. The wounded one, okay. Another hit. She's got one left. Yes, believe it or not, they have three body points. Right, and I took out one hit. I hit him once with the wrestling move. Yep. And then I just hit him two more times. Oh. So that's all oh, three. shoot. No, you got him. Yeah, you're right. You're right. For some reason, I was thinking he was a hero. He was a hero to me. Yay! And that brings it up to your two ice gremlins. Okay. Uh, let's see. 
He'd have a stronger attack, but then he would have a diagonal. All right, I'm just going to move. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. That one's going to attack normally. One skull. Four shield. Dang. Okay, what are you doing to him? Draw another card. This has been fun. <laughs> uh, shake, rattle, and roll. Oh, it's the uh, the honky tonk. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's honky tonk, man. He lives in he lives in Phoenix now. <laughs> All right. Uh, it kind of looks like a DDT. I guess I don't remember how that move actually went, but shake, rattle, and roll. If anybody remembers it, just picture that in your mind. <laughs> He does some like quasi Elvis like moves. Ugh. Yeah, I think, and then you're right. Doesn't he shake his hips and slam them down to the ground? Yeah. Some uh, gyration. Rolls them over and pins them. I think, besides Macho Man, Honky Tonk Man had the best interviews out of like everyone. He he was awesome. <laughs> A true showman, huh? Yeah, because some, some wrestlers were, yeah, they were like all personality and others were like all performance, but not necessarily good on the mic. But if you had both, that was really something. Okay, sometimes I wonder if Milton Bradley ever play test Frozen Horror Mage in the Mirror. Malkadon, I, I don't, I doubt they did, they had time to do much of that. I mean, you can see when you, when you read the drafts that they definitely gave feedback. But it's one thing to, you know, look at a map and go, oh, I think you should do this or that, versus, like, actually having players who are not the designers, like, playing it and giving their feedback. And you don't see any of that in the documentation that we have. They may have done it, but we have no proof that they did. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so that leaves your uh, your elite guy. Yep. Okay, so he's gonna attack with the whip, one skull. Sir Knight. Free shield. All right, we're drawing you another wrestling card. Yes, please. Grill press <laughs> slam. Yes, ultimate warrior. They're gonna uh, test them. Like many of us, they stepped on the cast were injuring their foot. Therefore, testing was canceled. All right. So you get them. You get them on your uh, on your shoulders, and you're just like you're just like lifting him up and down, and then and then you like uh, slam him slam him behind you. Uh. Actually, the, the elite one, I'm slamming. Oh, oh shoot, okay. This time, yeah. You grabbed him. <laughs> you do you do the thing, you do the press, you I, I, slam Yeah, I pull you. the whip closer and, and, and reel him in first. Yep. <laughs> and of course, the whole time you're like huffing and puffing, you know, like in a very exaggerated manner. All right, so he takes a hit. Yeah, after just take, rattle, and roll on the other guy. <laughs> yeah. What a hand. I'm back. Yeah, I don't. I don't think they had much time to, to test them. I mean, I'm grateful that we got what we got, but at the same time, yeah, it's on their own. Their quest books, their quest expansions with potential, as opposed to like well put together, just straight off the page. Which is why they released into the Northlands after all the feedback to say, okay, well, here's some suggestions. But I think you can go further and just, I would just edit out a lot of the monsters. Again, unless you really like a long campaign. I mean, if you're like an Axis and Allies risk, risk type player, maybe that's right up your alley. Okay, all right, so after that, uh, back to the Rogue.
Uh, just continue to wait. <laughs> okay, and elf. Same with the, same with the elf. Okay, back to the knight then. He's gonna wait there, and then the knight. The knight saga. He's gonna attack the one, the 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 weakest. Well, I guess they're both the same now. The one right across from him in the doorway. One. One black shield. He blocked it. Nice. And that brings it back to your gremlins. Alright. Da, 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 da. Only had some water. The stream was going after, until after midnight. Oh, they're already gremlins. Never mind. Well, the first one would, would still work. Uh, okay, so the first one attacks. That'd be horrible. So he said, oh, I'm going to use my holy water. Okay, they multiply. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because they're not undead, so they would just, you know. Okay, uh, one skull. One skull. Dang. Okay, one white shield. Jeez, Luis. All right, the elite one. Here we go. Oh, hold on a second. I gotta readjust. Okay, I just got one skull. Okay. Night. Is that better? Yeah, get rid of the echo. My uh, Bluetooth just died. Oh yeah, you're nice and clear. Oh, there's the All echo. Right. I don't. I don't care. Uh, one, one shield. Ching. Okay. That's it. Are you guys just gonna keep <laughs> cycling back to the night? I, I'm not sure we're gonna face the frozen horror tonight. Sorry, <laughs> it's the way the way the time's going. Uh, yeah, keep keep cycling through. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> that one. Okay. This is the the wounded one. Yeah. Well, they're both wounded, but the one straight across the doorway. The regular one. Oh. Yep. It's a hit. All right. Another hit. Okay, so that, that brings it back to your turn. All right. Back, back and forth. Back and forth. All right. That ice gremlin attacks, and he missed. All right. And the other one. One skull. This happens sometimes in Hero Quest. One shield. Okay. Guys, back to the night again? Yes, please. Gonna get out of this one. All eyes are fixed on the night. It's, it's quest. But yeah. I didn't I didn't expect I didn't expect three gremlins. <laughs> Nobody does. Two this time. Ooh. Okay. Is that like the uh, Spanish Inquisition? Inquisition? Yeah. Comfy chair. All right. Okay, so got well, him. So got him. Nice. All right. So now it's your elite. Beat him into ice cube. One on one. But now you can move in and roll two black dice. That's right. <laughs> okay, so I'm using his regular icicle sword or whatever it is. One skull. Ooh, three shields. Another card. <laughs> All right. Yeah, we're having fun with this uh, card. Good old Raven's Burger. Do a, do a double chicken wing. Oh, oh, that sounds good, but yeah, Stinger Splash. Right in the corner of the door, the 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 room. That's not too bad. Yeah. So he 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 Irish whipped him into the corner, <laughs> and then he ran over. Ah, and then jumped. Bam. 
doing another body point of damage. And then he ran back, ran back into place. I want to say that's how it was in Battle Chess, where it's like, and then it, everybody teleports back to where they were on the board. All right. Okay, just got one left. Yep. My turn. My turn. Yes, Why it is. One to call the Armory Bloodbath and Beyond for all your adventuring needs. Oh, I get it. Yeah. Oh, I get it. This guy, he's, he's got a he's got a very high rating in the wit department. <laughs> Bed bath, blood bath, and beyond. Okay, all right. Um, so I'm attacking you now. Yep. Too black. Oh wait, hold on. No, actually, I'm attacking you now. Okay. That was a wrestling okay. move. He's attacking him. Yeah, yeah. I got some defense. Well, All right. For Sunday quest yeah. So yeah. We're playing Sunday quest on Sunday. Oh, wrestling move! Again. Another card. Again. Yes, Again. this one on an attack. How does that affect his attack, though? Is well, it would just be an automatic hit. Okay. You might recognize this one, the super kick. All right, sweet chin to music, right through the door. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Knocks him completely out. He goes flying and he lands on, on the torture rack, breaking it. And the crowd goes he, broke the, he broke the torture rack like when mankind got thrown off the, the cage. Yep. And then uh, I'll move one space into that room. The knight's going pro after this quest, he says. <laughs> Not the only one anyway. Well, a lot, of, a lot of armored matches start out with swords and end up in... Grappling. <laughs> yeah, in grappling, and in, it basically ends up being an endurance match on one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah. Even some of the, the smaller, like, three-on-three -three and two-on-two -two matches end up being like that. Oh, hell yeah. Gonna do when Hulkamania gets you. <laughs> it's largest arms in the world. Yep. Uh, but that's gonna give you a card on your turn, though. Okay. So you just stepped into the room. Did you do anything else? I no. I attacked and I stepped in. Damn the crown. Yep. Okay. All right. Get a card. Uh, yeah, the attack was my action. Bone saw is ready. Ooh, okay. Oh, ha ha ha! Yes. You trip over a loose tile and break one of your potions. Now it says choose a hero at random. So it would be very tempting to just say you lost your uh, airwalk. But to be fair, I will choose a random out of the three. See how fair I am? So we'll say in movement order, one, two, three. All right. Three. The night. The dice decided. OK, so your uh, push of airwalk breaks. So we'll cross that off. Yeah, ouch for sure. Very ouch. Okay, that's, that's the end of my turn. What do you think, guys? Uh, so you've been waiting on the, on the night to finish up down there. Yeah. Uh, Maybe somebody will have... a potion for you next time. 
Yeah, maybe. Um, I guess uh, search the room for traps then. All right, no traps detected. All right. Uh, he's not gonna move. He'll just stay there. Okay, I get another card, then, don't I? Yes. Long gonna end trap. up with a bunch of them. All right. Suddenly, a spiked log rolls from the ceiling. So, I'm gonna punish your buddies for waiting for you. So the log trap uh, hits them while they're hanging out, drinking coffee. Uh, so we need to roll a combat die for the rogue and a combat die for the elf. So rogue first. Okay, it was a skull, so the rogue loses a body point. Now the elf. Also loses a body point. That stupid log trap. Yep, exactly. Got us again. So the rogue is down to three. That's a, that's a third log trap in this double quest. <laughs> yeah, because once you get through the deck, you just go through it again. I'm heading out. Good night. Okay. Thanks, Malkadon X. I appreciate your uh, witticisms. You have a great, uh, great night. Thanks for joining us. And HeroQuest fans, we'll be back in two weeks. But you can always check out the YouTube stream for or YouTube channel for any updates from Gen Con. If we're lucky enough to get them. Okay, so just noting this, uh, Rogue is three. The elf's down to three. Elf's down to three. Okay, back to the night. Uh, search for secret doors. <laughs> secret door has been de has been detected. Uh, he's going to use his movement to walk to the secret door. Okay. Uh, his unthreatened movement. One, two, three, four, five. He waits there. Okay. All right. Are you guys? Oh, I'm gonna draw a card again. Yep. I'm gonna draw a sweater. And I haven't been to Gen Con forever, so I've never been. It's my first time. Okay, that doesn't really help me. So okay. Night. Night. Search for treasure in the room that he's in. Okay. Always a blast, though. Wish it was still in Milwaukee. Gold! So you find 15 gold. So 15 more gold for the night. So he's up to 30 now. Yes, he is. And now... Uh, card. That gives you... That'll give you a card. Alright, back to you. Uh, the... Open the next, uh, secret door. Alright. You open the secret door, and lo and behold, you have found the treasure room where the ice gremlins were stashing all of their stolen loot oh yeah i, I get my whip back too right i yeah. searched the room that i killed the ice gremlin in all right yeah yeah sorry i should have given you that yeah you've got it back for sure all right so i got the whip back all right um i'm i i'm gonna step in there search for treasure and get all my stuff back Actually, there might be more than just my stuff in there, too. Yeah, actually, there is. Loot! Yeah, and we're right at the end, so this is perfect. The perfect ending. Okay, so everybody take note. The knight has found the Ice Gremlin treasure hoard room. And here's what you find. You find a crossbow. 
you find the Ice Queen's spear. Because remember, that was stolen. And you find a healing plus four. And you also find a bandolier. Oh, I forgot about the bandolier. <laughs> yep. Okay, so all of these are in the possession of the knight. All right. On this day, this is off on your turn again. 7.29, yep. So, yeah, sorry about that. Um, unless... I guess the only other thing I can think of, it, unless I can get Strange Bus to uh, GM it, I hate to miss it, but I don't know. I could ask him if he's willing to do that, or if we could just wait until I get back. We could all do our thing. I just wait till you get back. Yeah, because he'll be doing his own streams. Okay, so thanks everybody for playing. Thanks for joining us in HeroQuest fans. Uh, the replay will be coming when it comes. Uh, probably Monday is usually how it works out. Um, like around 3.30ish. So thank you Don't all. Don't forget to move the night into the... Oh, into the room. The yeah, vault just... before you take your... Take my uh, snapshot. Yep. Snapshot, yeah. Yeah, always take a picture of the game so I can kind of remember. So yeah, the next time we'll be starting to be Zargon's turn. Zargon's turn next time. Yeah, thanks, Matreya. Good to meet you all. Uh, we got a lot of people tonight. Thank you all for joining us. Um, okay, and let's check and see if Amalgamash is on. I'm happy to happy to uh, raid him, but if uh, if not, any of our friends uh, happy to do the raid. So let's just switch over here. Forget to take me along this time. <laughs> yeah. Make sure, uh, yeah, you, you actually have to click something to agree. So it looks like El Funko is on. Uh, Cy Gnarly. Take me. Uh, QT Patootie 2020. So out of those three, I mean, Optimus Prime is pretty cool, but he's got a lot of people. El Funko actually has a lot of people in his stream. I usually go for the low the low numbers, but it doesn't matter to me. So I guess uh, I'll just kind of put it out there to the There's chat. also Singularity. Singularity. Or, or Signarly. Signarly. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I was trying to say his name. Signarly. QT. QT 2020. L. Funko. Or Autumnus Prime. I don't want to like take a ton of time. I mean, I guess I could like design a poll, but I'm just gonna see anybody in the chat in the Twitch chat live want to just decide vote for one of those. Uh, Signarly, QT Patootie, El Funko, or Autumnus Prime. Who should we raid tonight? I don't know who any of them are, so... <laughs> and his well, name is John for the raid. <laughs> Well, thanks for that, Jaser. <laughs> El Funko is a Warhammer painter. Uh, Autumnus Prime does video games. He's doing Remnant 2. Signarly is just doing art. QT Patootie is doing art. Funko? Yeah, I think he's still painting uh, Ultramarines. Yeah. I've been watching him a lot lately because he's doing Ultramarines and that's what so, I paint. So. I think we're going to do painting. Yee! Hero Quest. Yee! So are we thinking Funko? Sure. Alright. Anybody else in the <laughs> chat want to say something? Yeah, okay. Cool. All right. Not everybody's talking. I, I get it. All right. So we'll do we'll end the stream and we will raid El Funko. So everybody just hang on for the raid. And thank you for your support. Thank you for joining us, the HeroQuest fans. We'll try to report 
bring back some reports from Gen Con. Um, go ahead and leave your questions for Avalon Hill, um, either in the HeroQuest fans Discord or on my YouTube channel, XSC3, home of HeroQuest fans, in like the community section, wherever you can send them to me. Uh, and I'll try to pass those along. And I figure, worst case scenario, um, at the hotel, if we can figure out the internet there, we can maybe upload some pictures, upload some clips, maybe just info that we've gotten, pictures of swag, make everybody jealous. Just kidding. But <laughs> all right, thanks. We're going to end the stream. Everybody have a great night. Have a safe weekend. And we'll catch you next time on HeroQuest Fans. So no stream next week, but the week after. So that would be August 12th is the plan. All right. Good game, everybody.